participating in his full gear, sponsored gear. But I'm here right now. We're not talking about competitor. We're talking about a TO slash competitor. It's Neo Judai going up on the cami. Yeah, repping out TNS as he does. He shouts to him as we get the $15 right away. EVP coming through with the contribution to the match arena. Thank you very much as the reactions come by with the drive impact straight away. On and burnout, not too good. Nice anti right there, but you don't want her to get going and flowing like when she gets those spin knuckle conversions and things like that when you're a chip. That's why I like this uh, straightforward aggression from the side of Han. This is closed after the jab. Nice counter hit here. Tries to go for the setup. Huge step back and Neo Judai a little bit on skates there, but luckily only round one. Still plenty of time to readjust. Of course, got the bar at the bottom too as well. You know, building up more and more. More important for her to get that level three. Beautiful drops it with that crouching unit kick. Gets a spiral arrow. ODDP immediately doesn't have to guess about these jumpers that she's doing. Drive impact lands. Gets the dragon lash. Yep, big guess there. Didn't want to hold the plus frames. We find that for it though. Distance closed a little bit at a time. Very plus on the situation, but turns into another clean hit. Three bars are available and we are going to spend definitely the right decision, I think. Try to seal this round out. Even though you go into the next round with a deficit, definitely the right decision. Yeah, if you keep it nice and neutral, you might be able to take this. You know, this is a matchup that has developed over time. It used to be way worse for the side of Ken, but he has uh, kind of equalized things with figure out how do you stand medium kick and better fireballs. If you're good against those fireballs, like you see right there on the side of Cammy, you'll be absolutely fine. She has many ways to approach with a dive kick. You switch it up, you'll be a okay. Close that corner play. The Jinrai hits. Oh, cannot let that rock. Nice jump away from the drive impact, though. Cannot let those gaps go with the Jinrai. As soon as he starts to bully you with that, he unlocks a new layer of pressure and turn stealing that you just can't quite handle. And that's another great jab. Beautiful interruption over the overhead. In burnout, cross cut DP. No, cross cut jab. Caught the trip guard right there. Dive kick, wake up super. Does it again, what to have to guess. You feel depressed right now as you're all your drive games is completed, deleted right now for Neo Judai. Probably Dragon Lash after this. We, we, we work it. Oh, okay, never mind. Super, or just using the fireball. I thought it was gonna be a super for Neo Judai in return. But I like that safe option hand. Okay, with the double drive rush, spends everything and ends up finding the stun. A great decision there to be able to walk to the wall. And what a masterful way to spend all of your bar at that point, knowing that the uh, the fireball is able to put you in a position where they're guaranteed gonna be blocking on the ground. And then you can just kind of pressure it out from there. Amazing stuff from Honda, close the round. Yeah, use that fireball again on that wicked decision to put them in burnout. Is this the same Han that was in our, uh, was it the Mope or the, uh, we had like a special tournament at CEO Taku, and it was uh, the dynamic mode. The it's dynamic the run. Bro, really? I, I think it's him. I think it's him, but the OG guy's getting in. I see the purple on the outfit. I was like, wait a minute. As this was going, <laughs> I was like, this dude look a little bit too good at this game right now. I ain't Huge for the front. Huge odds, by the way, to Hurricane King coming through with the sub. Excited to get to see you at TNS9, and hopefully everybody else. We get that punish counter to come through. Not very much damage, but still is able to keep it media afterwards. That's all that really matters as long as you maintain pressure. Yeah, speed of pressure right there. OD trying to catch him locking and slacking, but he blocked it out. More often than not now. That, once again, that drive gauge in gray. Neo Judai, no reaction, no super. And again, no reaction to that drive impact. I do like that. You know, get the pressure on them. Build up that bar at the bottom. You almost that level three sort of situation if you're Han. Over, had some green stuff, blocks the drive reversal, and on the minus frames, able to easily secure the kill from there. You know, Judai answers back with a one to one. One to out. You know, Judai getting aggressive and putting on more often than not in burnout, which is definitely bad against Lots of Cammy. We talked about how she has that back this pressure, the jabs up in the corner, and that strike throw game gets even nasty up in the corner. But Han starts off real strong. Enhanced Tatsu, lots of Oki finds the overhead. Okay, after the flip is able to find the crouching medium. Good corner carry as always, leads safely into the throw. Plus frames, jab, reversal after that crouching jab though. I saw this movie already. Change the channel, bro, change the channel. There we go, ODDP, look at that. Privileged DP. Ooh, and actually a great use of the dive kick there. Gets the low crush, but wake up EODDP again. We were just letting that thing rip at all times. Proved to me your safe jumps are real, he says. Burnout could be bad on either side. Han has less help. Neo Jedi not pressing the issue, but he should soon before that bar comes back. Dive kick hits the throw. One more. Get meaty with it. Yeah, the dash up jab. No vegan option. Round two. 
two bars. Already acquired for both players now. Judai will give up a little bit of room at the beginning here, but takes it straight back with the crouching medium. Again, the corner carry looking good, but this time looks for the step back on the throw attempt, and unfortunately that ends up with a bad neutral jump forward. Yeah, drop on the dive kick. Gets hit with a drive impact and attack on drive cage continuously. Jump fierce, burns him out on block, drive rush, stay a fierce starter. Jin Rai DP. Han looking to even things out. And Asa can do so without using that bar at the bottom. The shimmy, the stay fierce again for the win. Twice in a row, Neo Judai against the corner has been kind of caught trying to match on the throw a little bit too much here. Needs to be careful about how we're uh, find those SOS type situations here. Dragon Lash steals the turn and we try to go for the drive impact. Coming to that Stan Pierce, the jump out is fine here from Neil Judai, no punish. Walk up throw up in the corner, strike throw, ooh the hooligan, the OD! Oh you getting nasty, you getting greasy, the trade! Ooh, good punish counter though, knowing that dive kick wasn't going to quite work out, doesn't get any kind of follow up, but still pressure into the wall, tries to go for the jump, and drive impact lands again, it burns out on Jack block, the stun is huge! Yeah, oh, feels like a man coming through with the 20, I see you! Look who the OS drive rusher feels like Han, man. Be able to drop your character in the game, but I appreciate you dropping the 20 in support. Han about to drop Neo Judai out of this tournament. About to go up two. Let's see what it do, though. No anti gets a dive kick. Oh, no. The bird watching leads to us critical art to come through. Han, you've got to DP those. We've seen so many good anti airs and so many good reversal DPs from them. That one opportunity, you cannot let that go. Oh. Han, listen. Listen, Han, if you lose this, you gotta enter a Neo Judai tournament on Mondays. Just saying. You gotta become a part of the academy. You gotta sign up, you gotta enroll. Actually, you should do so either way, but Neo Judai on game point. Okay, kind of here, try to press. Not quite gonna be able to get there. Dry rush, medium, he sets the pressure. The throw right after, up in the corners. Medium Sam Fierce. This time goes for the run overhead. Nice parry! Oh, I, spiral Arrow, definitely one of the choices. <laughs> Unfortunately, not the correct one. On, I mean, nice parry. Yeah, you, you can't hit confirm in this game with crouching medium kicks. So I, I don't know if Neo was like looking to do so, or it had just committed to like drive rushing the button and to Spiral Arrow right after his brain just did it. Either way, Lisa Han, staying on set point. Impact, oh, yeah. press some buttons. Ooh, again. the jump beams again. Uh, Drop third, though. Third time we've seen that same situation come up, but Han is still able to capitalize. That's going to be the kill, and that's going to be game five here in our first set of the night. I switch up around that stand fear situation. I like the Han. He's like, okay, you want to press after this? I'm going to hit that drive impact when you try to press buttons. Nothing after that. Neil Jelly has to be watching out for that drive impact. Is hard as it is in a lot of tense situations, you have to be wary of getting hit. That's been like a big turnaround, these drive impacts, and also some mistakes on the side of Neo Judai. You clean it up, it might be Han again enrolling in the Academy on Motivational Mondays, but we'll have to see if uh, Neo Judai is the one that needs some motivation to get through losers. Nice stand, medium kick the check, and challenge that drive rush. Yeah, definitely a very good stop sign. Unfortunately, has to deal with the Dragon Lash. Does stop the green stuff, though, with the dive kick right at the feet, but again, Han, I feel like the timing on these DPs is crazy good. Damn! Get him with the dragon lash like that. Gets a counter hit. Frame kill overhead blocks it out. And now if, I feel like if you're Han, you're noticing that my man's is definitely going for a lot of these preemptive parries that need more grip. The call with the jump fierce. Again, that's the win. Damn, how many times has he been oh, missing hey, on that bro. cranium? Headed the win. He's four for four. That throw has been destroying him in the corner. Every time his back has been to the corner, the shimmy or the fake throw or the jump, whatever it has been, it has been a ripped tech and an easy punish for Han every single time. Speaking of punishes, drive for slight punch against that stand medium kick. Just allowing that poke tool from coming through an enhancement again up in the corner. Jump fierce and tries to go for the air to air. I, I feel like at this point you go for the perfect parry or you just block that sucker out. Oh my god, the dash underneath. I wasn't expecting Han to go that deep into the corner, but it ends up working perfectly. Oh my god, three games to two. Ken gonna be the one to master his way through. Brother, they're gonna have to get a counter prize when we stand here. We give them a little bit of love, all right? That is such a jump scare. Blanca time, baby. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Bro, it's just, he's so close! It's like the Mature's Mask Moon, he's right there, bro! <laughs>
Oh, well, let's give me a little block action. <laughs> you know, the, one of the great things about this game is that you can turn off their costume, the one that they're using. So if you don't want to see the block chain, you keep it on the default. That's what I do, because I don't want to see this absolute abomination. Hey, but there's the stun already. Unfortunately, spent all of that meter trying to get aggressive. Doesn't quite find the mark and loses half the life for it. Mm -hmm. Toss up in the corner. The grip up in the corner. Oh, he goes for the crouching like it instead of a knee stand fierce. Switching it up. One more hit will be it. Go for the drive impact too as well. That's a punish though. Perfect KO. Now that's not a bad option if you get that punish counter off the TK Blanca ball. You get a counter hit, punish counter I should say. You get a better fault than OD, but died for it. Okay, the scoop, gets that little bit extra jungle for that corner carry. And back, oh, back medium kick a little too early. No meaty, easy wake up throw. Damn, pick him off the stand fierce lands. Straight in the eyeball, dude. Oh my God, every single standing fierce just pokes him in the eye. Lakachan, please close those things, dude. Good, good. <laughs> I'm so biased against this costume. I'm sorry, Sean, you're doing good work. You're doing good work. You gotta work yourself outside that quarter, bro. Do something different. No reaction to try to attack, and it's a wrap. The old Tatsu. A little bit of finesse and bless right there. I like that. A little bit of seasoning with that song. Start again, taking a little bit of space here. There's that throw, though. Gets the counter hit. For initiation. Also, I think he's in that range. Maybe looking for fireball. He can slide around that angle. He doesn't. Blue Icy gets in. Yo, Blue Icy, where's the blue, though? Where's the actual blue fit? That's so surprising. I don't see no blue, bro. Okay, instead of the blue, a little bit of green there with the drive rush. Close that distance already to the corner for Sean, unfortunately. And the beatup kind of continues here. Drops the combo, but it still resets into pressure. Yeah, that's the great thing about Jinrai is that it keeps you caught up in the corner continuously, chips away, and that's where your access for damages and the drive impact. It's a wrap. And again, who just is like, you're not going to react to these. I'm going to keep sending them out for free. Okay. Uh, tail is all this time. A little fake Blanc ball action. Mm -hmm. Light one right in front of the face. A lot of grips. He's not attacking, bro. He believes he can find that side, switch out of there. There we see attack. Changes up the defense. Ate a little bit too much, I guess. Stand fierce overhead. No run DP. Good run Tatsu here. A little step back. Definitely good. Goes for the double dash and all the way to the corner. Corner carry. Always absurd for Ken. And now next tip will pretty much do it. Get that throw. It's a foul, but as he said, one hit will do it. One throw. A slight breeze. A sneeze will kill. A DP. Could have did it. OD plus frame side switch. Uh-oh. Oh, he's, he's buffering for that. Super open. He interrupts that drive rush. He was buffering for his damn dear life. Was able to stop and stop that drive rush with the crouching medium kick. But still, he was ready no matter what. Drive impact, drive rush. I like that. Blue. He needs three more. He needs one more. To get the three. Sean hey, needs three. Help the, sh the shirt under the jacket, by the way, is blue. I see the vision. That's not enough. I need the full blue jacket, bro. The full, full blue outfit. What are you talking about? Give me the outfit. I, I see the vision. <laughs> Okay, fireball okay. comes through again. L luckily, the blue fireball comes through again. Doesn't quite fine okay. much, though. Up ball does okay. get the connection, and afterwards, we walk up the throw. Very nice. I right, listen, we some, do what we can. Listen, you need some glasses. Bro. Hey, nah, bro. Come on, give this man a little bit more on that blue. Dasani, if you lose, you have to change it. But right now, he's looking fantastic. He does have the lead. The crouch fears from that distance. Oh my god, this dude is insane. What yeah, block a one meter in burnout. You might as well keep the pressure up. Finds the stun again. It just feels automatic right now for Blue Icy match point. You've got to find a way to deal with the stamp ears. There are ways. Right? You can combat that. You would punch it with crouching medium punch, but it's just not happening. Blue is just running his game. Back dash. Still caught the counter hit. Looking bad. Full super up in the corner. Damn near no life to give. Sean. Drive rush. Grip. One more hit will be it. Okay. Pretty much. Some of that pressure here. But again, at that point, it was just a matter of the drive gauge getting chipped down. But Make sure to hit him up and say, hey, man, I want to do this song. He'll do whatever song. 
any song. <laughs> oh man. So you know, speaking of uh, speaking of uh, being up all day with the hate, we're here with Walnut. <laughs> Walnut gonna bring the Geef, bro. Let's see how it works out. I mean, Geef is a. Uh, I, I would be a miss to not say shout out to Ramsey. I still think about that. I still think about that top eight. I don't want to give him any credit because that's my boy. And I want to get a big head. But he did absolute work because this character is is a distress, right? You gotta, not the mo you gotta work hard. You gotta work hard. Even in this matchup where a lot of geek players don't think it's that bad, it's just the fact that this character that his kid can snowball you so quickly, take you to the corner, get his win condition off before you can, makes it difficult. But if the stand fierce stands gets a fireball like that, things are looking a lot better. Walnut trying to work his way in. The DP is ready though. Okay, the green stuff here goes for the burnout, which is all you really need at that position. Walnut recognized there wasn't much to do at that point. If you can't squeak out an SPD, all you can do is jump. So a good effort, but unfortunately not quite enough to escape. This fireball is fine to jump it. Two commits to that stand medium. Umana recognized. One cancel into the throw, no interruption. Walnut caught up in the corner, not where you want to be as keep. In terms of defense, you don't have anything. You know, you're holding all that pressure. Damn, whip punish the knee drop. Oh, this is bad. Light kick doesn't interrupt the fireball. Fortunately, not able to buy too much space afterwards. Walking up and has to block the dragon lash, but a great throw escape and the sweep. So now potential for party time, but ODDP, the stop sign we deserve. Brother, nobody is reacting to a single drive impact, and it's a wrap. After that splat, hits the level three immediately. Pumana with the first victory. This is looking difficult. And again, when you're so stressed, you've got no help. When that drive impact hits, it's even harder to react to it because you're looking out for so many things. You can't make a bad decision anymore. I like that Bumano recognizes that. He's like, you know you about to get killed, right? Okay. Let's get that trade. Unfortunately, Fireball quickly interrupts the drive rush. See, I mean, standing light kick usually you go for just because it is drive uh, drive rush cancelable, as well as going for the standing medium punch, just because if you get the counter hit, it is a super high reward normal as far as just finding knockdowns with Geef, but the perfect parry into the back throw. There we go, hell stab, Lariat, back rise, no surprise, you're still up in the corner, my friend. He's looking for maybe sweep against stand heavy kick if that's utilized again here. Pavano has to be very careful, swinging that out. Drive rush, stand fear, charge up, but eats with the armor. Unfortunately, burnout will complicate this a lot. Crashing medium does work out, does get the counter hit as well. So actually had the opportunity, but no OD. There's no way that Larry is going to combo from that distance. And now you are at the mercy of the Jinrai. And the drive impact, drive impact again, but the armor gets the win, the charge up, stamp is the way I order. Oh my God, Walnut, committal, I love it. That's like a, a very blessed to look at the fireballs. Look at some of these normals that are presented here from Bumano. Okay, we are gonna cash out, huh? I mean, just be able to get your own meter back, at least just for that. I do think it's a good decision. It's pretty good. Uh, I don't know if you had to spend all that far. I feel like you could have just backed off a little bit. But the dash up back though here from Walnut. Bro, no fear at all. Stay in fierce as an anti. Or come on the way down. Plus frames. Jab resets the pressure. You see the bar at the bottom. You see the bar at the bottom. Oh, you know. You know what I'm I'm, I cleared the landing area because you know what I'm going to do as soon as it pops up. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Jab. No DP after that light kick. There's a DP as the anti air. So he was ready. Dude, Walnut has jumped twice and has gotten DP both times. He's been like really respectful and grounded for the most part. And Bumano has been so ready at every turn. Bumano just backs up and waits for that aerial approach to happen. Also, checking and challenging the new drop whenever he can. Let's get to the crouching mini kick drive rush. Does get the DP after that stand light kick. The area right there, weird interaction. Okay, on counter. Try to close distance again, but Pumanu knew there was going to be enough space. Crouching medium kick. The antidote for that one as we step back and get the shimmy. Back throw. For the corner you go, and again, that bar. Flashing, man. You ain't lasting. You want this character to get close to you. It's like a good stamp here's knocked out. Blocks out the Tatsu, but it's plus. Mono. Smack off his feet. Oh my god. Both level three. Okay, but if you don't drop this, he gets the victory. Run the level three. Yeah, there we go. Shot he shoots first. Mono. All right. 
Yeah, that was definitely the thing I liked so much about Bumano spending the level three in the earlier stage of the game, as I think people underrate how fast you gain meter in this game. I really like spending it in situations like that to just try and put yourself at a big advantage, especially when you're behind, because you know you're gonna have time. If you have the confidence in yourself to win the round off that lead, you know you have time to build another one. Mm-hmm. On to game. Finds a jump fears. Look at the DP drive rush, of course. Stand fears. Button right after. Love how he doesn't cancel in the heavy one. Knows he has to spend some bar to be safe and solid. Another jump fears. Blessing that dome, piercing that cranium. Perfect gen rise too as well. Bags up for the entire again. Uh oh. Close that distance. Pretty much commits the rest of the drive gauge to that interaction though. And unfortunately, Crouch Medium gets the whiff punch again. Bumano set point. I feel like Walnut is like definitely head above water, but Bumano has just been able to clutch it over and over. Bro, he is the evil cousin right now. Just dunking it continuously. <laughs> you may know how to swim, but not when it's your cousin, bro. And Bumano, the way that he has been like standing where he stands has been fantastic. It's like crouch outside of crouching medium kick stand, right kick range. And comfortably these fireballs too as well. Like this conversion was not that big a deal for Walnut to hit because now Bumano hits him with the shoot to dry. Burns out his gauge. Okay, plenty of time there, but unfortunately now burn out in the corner. Does get the jump over the Dragon Lash. You know what he wants. Sweep against the Drive Rush. See that more often, even from Kim players. You see it from the key player. Uh oh. And you're cornered. You have no real estate to really walk back. Wakes up with the DP, no fear. He's up two games. He's got around. Cross up Tatsu. Doesn't get the follow up, but I get it. You need to have the fear right now. The conversion. Oh my god. Somewhere you can hear the nature boy in the distance. The knife edge chops the close of the round. Still alive here. Bomano still advantage though. Chop piece again calling up the throw. He is holding north to not go south. But not only for that, it's been for offense too as well. Stand like kick, no drivers right after here from Walnut. Hope's not leading to too much, I mean, that's the key play. You need to see some command grabs. Get the SPDs off, my guy. That was the first, first unanswered jump. Takes a third of the life bar. Walking back, slips in the crouching medium kick. Run, level three, puts this man in burnout, but it's not free. Look at that bar at the bottom of the wall. He's got level three, stop the on his side. Get too close, you'll be uncomfortable. Oh, pick up buttons. Two piece. Perfect parry, Humano. Third strike, oh. you're not all right. Only for my fans. Only for my fans. Walnut lands. Big level three, not gonna kill. One hit will though. Oh my oh. god, but again, the knife edge chop from Walnut. What an answer, two to one. Keith is still in it. Yeah, so hold up, bro. Hold up, bro. Don't count me out and prophesize my demise. Mono getting into more. He's gonna have to again pocket watch and not stay dropping. You gotta watch that bar at the bottom. You know their intentions. You know what they want. That's a bad drop. Could be a good punch. Could be able to get the yeah side switch. Dragon lash DP end. Oh, he just goes for the sweep. Actually finds a a fourth throw straight afterwards. Okay. Oh, that's close. So he throws even a little bit closer than another, so it allows you to not have to spend so much drive rush gauge to get in. Models in overhead finds a follow up. Super Jin right? Yes, sir. Spin to win. Okay. I feel like I've seen this movie before, though. Mono. Match point again. Show this time. Still a button. Switching it up. Now finds a stand. Fierce fist to face to put him in that corner space. Run DP. Fist again. Oh my god, the staggers are actually militant. Walla doing a pretty decent job of not falling for him too badly. He does get the cross-up, but Bumano with a great adjustment, switching to light kick in a situation like that to make sure you have that cross-up hitbox. Robertson to get the win. He actually walks up, finds the crouching mini kick drive rush, and finishes it off with a crouch fierce. Bumano takes a 3-1. Let's talk about some of the top tier <laughs> characters out here, especially this one right here. I'm not talking just about DJ, I'm talking about Chun Lee. He's ridiculous. He's good. He's real good. The fireball right there for buttons, man. Oh, the call against the throw. That's how you gonna feel. Goes for the uh, lightning waves. The call out against the throw. Look at that punch counter follow up. 
Dude, twice in a row, the throw has been completely baited out. Tries to go for the shimmy again, this time with that high walk speed. Obviously one of the uh, one of the hallmarks of Chun-Li play for pretty much forever. She is so damn fast on her feet, and that leaked Freezy to a perfect. Freezy, you are sleazy. I don't know why you're running right now. We go that uh, walk up leg. And I mean, she has so many things that she can do up in this game beyond her walk speed and things like that. Swift thrust are really good. The fact that the pair on her fireballs and Catholic spin OG to cut through. Gator getting in. Hike the green. Gator. You know how to be thematic. I enjoy that. Oh, unfortunately, all green, everything applying to Chun Li at this point, too. Using that green stuff to close the distance and now gets the burnout. But wake up, Super! Had to do it, man. You went Burnout, it's bad for this character. Gets a side switch too as well, off level two. Oh, you got the season with Sauce Gator. Let me find out, got a little melon in you. Crane kill with the throw. One more punish counter actually will get the kill. Perfect uh -oh. carry, back up in the corner. <gasps> and we have CA. How far can we push this? I don't think it's gonna be quite enough. Had to go for the reset, it looked like it. Oh my God, just holds the parry and goes for the Sobat. It would've been smart. I mean, that makes sense to go for the uh, overhead reset right there. Okay, special, but. Gator, step ahead, stay solid, drive our throw, calls out the parry preemptively, waits for an ODDP, nothing came. Fake out, yeah, make him waste that fireball a little, make him waste a little of that bar, trying to approach. Okay, and parry the rest of the ODDP, punish, counter on the jump forward, the missed execution there from Gator. Eating through, looking for a punish counter, but all he got was a drive impact. And that's one way you can play against all things that DJ wants to do. Get a drive impact, long extended limbs. Calls out the throw again. You dirty son of a gun. Freezy. Gonna hit that level three again. You sleazy. Pick him up. Jump, meet him. Jump fierce. Fantastic. Sit him down with that so in. Good God, dude. Freezy locking down the first one. It felt like an eternity of a first game. Very back and forth. But I like the things I've seen from Gator so far. You know, sprinkling in the fake fireball in good situations. Being able to convert pretty decently in the corner as well. And get the punish counter for the throw to start. Mm -hmm. it starts off pretty strong. You've seen that continuously when things go on. But yeah, that's why I want to see more. That's why I play. Behold, my neutral. But honestly, you know, use that for a call out. And then after that, after they get hit with that a few times, they're even more offensive, but not freezing. You run that ODDP immediately. Ooh, hit with the OD though, fireball. The quickness. Yeah, definitely a great place to be able to go for that. Whether the opponent's fireball is out or not, just such a strong fireball to be able to deal with all of those neutral situations from that distance. The overhead, not respected there. Easy for Freezy. Go slide. Swift thrust, back up a little bit, letting something whiff. This freezer possibly looking for something to whiff. Use the DP against the neutral. That was from so far away, dude. The vacuum effect is crazy. And DP is one of the best in the business. I'd say top three, honestly. Air slasher, switching up a little bit. Drive rushes in for the sweep off the feet. He's up for that throw. Gator has a lead, blocks out the legs this time. I want to see more perfect parries. I know that's a lot to ask, but perfect parry is so good against the fireball meta currently. Uh oh. Oi, speaking of perfect parries there, after the burnout, Gator walked all the way to the wall now. Level three is available and so deep on the jump in, but not enough. What? No, he committed to a button. Reset, no back throw though. Or you know what? Maybe it was a job. Either way, Gator, we didn't think it was gonna finish off the job, the perfect parry. Big punish to the flip out. Saves Gator for a little bit longer. No drive rush up. You had the bar. Oh, oh the drive it back. Easy. Caught him frozen. Oh my god. From like the most maximum possible distance. Tries to go for the slide on the fireball right away. Sticks in stance. But Gator ends up finding the sweep because of it. That's painful. That's real painful. Look at that plus rate for a medium kick. It's a sweep off the feet. There we go again. But now the perfect carry Freezy is not deterred by that sway play. Usually people kind of break down a little bit or hold back a little bit, delay their buttons, not Freezy. Oh my God, confident dash forward while we're talking about it here. That's a punish board. And this bot play, a throw, punish counter, attack, does not connect. Oh yeah, she was ducking that for days, bro. Ray stands, low profile in the fireball, but now I'm burnout is freezing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, 
it was on true from a decent spacing. Both players. OD Fireball doesn't get anything. I think you got to stand fierce into. It don't matter. You caught them legs. You A okay. Gator still stays solid. Yeah, you could maybe follow up with like Stan Pierce or something like that, but you know, still cleans it up either way. But that's something you want to put in your mind is this is not over yet. You want to make sure you're crisp and comfortable moving on. Or being kick for the plus frames again. This time it lands with a throw right after. Easy fights back. Oki of his own. Okay, couple of ones again. Good parries. Fake fireball actually entices the throw, uh, the jump forward, but fortunately it was a little bit misspaced there. Maybe didn't think they were gonna bite on it. It was for the plus frame right there before me to kick again. Drive rush fake out. Flip a button. Nice cross cut DP. Let it loose at the right time. Finds the crouch fierce. Meaty as hell. Fell. Game in round up right now is Gator. Okay. Start off here, gotta maintain that pressure though. Tries to use the legs. Gator not falling for the throw attempts in the, uh, at least in neutral recently. But we kind of get our own strike though going. The dash up here and target combo all the way through. Maybe just didn't believe was Freezy. So Gator also converting the jabs. We give it to him to the drive impact. Freezy was all prepared for that, but either way, Freezy resets himself. Crouch fears. The best meaty buttons in the game. That hitbox was insane. It's hard for the Hazanchu to hit anything. Be preemptive. Okay, follow through. Does the green stuff and does find the sweep. The overhead, blocking high, drop impact, lets it fly. He can go for a level two for another reset. He's gonna go for this level. I'm sorry, the CA actually. Will this kill? I think it will. It's a lot of bar to utilize. Not dead yet. Gator's got bar. Meaty fireball goes for the super. I think they blocked, they did, and that's a punish. Okay, not that bad. Gator wastes at least two bars from his side of things. Reason he doesn't have any bars to fight back with, but might be able to stay solid. Game to game, round to round. I was so sure that was going to kill from Freezy, but ends up working out in the end. I was going to say, you find that overhead, goes to the chop, looks for throw. No loop available, but keeping a media into the overhead. Sequences continue for Freezy, drops out, and then ODDP, great answer. Built the fireball or built the meter with the fireball. He's at that level two on deck if need be. Empty throw against the preemptive parry. Drive rush. The sway play gets a punish counter. Full conversion up in the corner. I like this. If he jump again with the throw. Oh no. Drive impact. Sequencing sauced up. It's the clap back. Gator on game point. Kind of good. So it's Gator. Oh, wow. Interrupted the OD fireball there. Unfortunate. Reason wasting some bar, but gets it back with the anti. Okay. The wall. Finds that connection for the second time. Has some meter. Isn't going to need to spend it, though. Should be able to just kill straight up. Not enough, actually. And Gator, second lease on life here, finds the throw as well. Oh, no. The new level one would have been better there. Get that super to seal the deal, but we'll get the kill either way. Fireball. I think that's supposed to be an OD from the side of Gator. He's a normal fireball to fight back with, but had that stand for your foul about a little too long. Staving on set point is Freezy. Potential ready. Fireball to lock him down, too, as well in the meeting. Okay, check out the Sobot drop. Still is able to go for the Sobot and finds the knockdown. Throw comes through. He's kind of trouble. Dude, Yuri Yo! with a $100 con Macharito contribution. Jesus, man, thank you. Man, one of the big bands. I see you, Yuri. Thank you for that love. Especially on V-Day. Perfect parry and play, Gator. Getting the follow-up. Let's get the fireballs, though. Season Sonic booms and gets the throw right after Gator on set point. We saw that money company is like, hold up now. Let me, let me, let me get some motion going, bro. Let me get active. Hey. 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 Again. Yeah, absolutely. I really agree with this, especially putting yourself farther and farther away from the burnout situation here. And if that leads to you, bro. The damage that led up to that, the level three on top, 
Freezy about to drop, gotta be careful now. Cross got DP, lets it loose a little bit late. You get that cross up. OD, tin show kick right back at him. It's far on the side of Freezy, but gets knee dropped on the head. You're dead. Gator, dining on Freezy and moving on in the winner's side. You feeling different than what you're on the Three stream. days of DJ. Oh Three days God. of DJ. That's just 30 days and 30 nights at that point, but Zaffirino <laughs> finally in here. Let's see how this works out. Cami versus Dalsum, obviously a tough matchup. Uh, Dalsum does a really good job of being able to keep out, but then Zami gets, uh, gets that one distance close, that one spin knuckle, that one dive kick, and oh! all of a sudden, you are in huge trouble, brother. Who that hooligan, bro? Push up the aerial approach. Yeah, the dive kick definitely is a dangerous thing that she has to deal with. That he has to deal with. And also the fact that the whip punishable buttons are really nasty too as well. The jump approach, if you call it out wrong, she gets so much off. Oh, Zephyrino's gonna play this careful. That's gonna be a punish at least. Zephyrino with the teleport, nice and close. Oh my God, what an angle for that jump. Dalsum, the man of many normals, does have a lot of options to anti-air, but unfortunately, if you are directly on top of him, he kind of just has to hold it. That is a great jump there from Kami. This camp, you have the ability to do so so continuously. Every jump is like the mix up. I'm gonna go for jump heavy kick, I'm gonna go for dive kick, empty jump throw or low. It's just a lot of various that leads to so much for the character. Okay, damage. Charge up. I, I feel like Zephyr would like to bait out a spin knuckle, but first is not bad. Uh oh, Shimmy. Oh my god, in trouble there. Gets the punish counter twice in a row here. And we just make up with a sweep into the jab. But Zaffarino with kind of a crazy turnaround. Now keeping control of the corner. Jimmy. Dead. Down for it, heavy punch starter. We hit the super. No shot. The super didn't hit. And I can hear my boy Zaffarino. Oh, that should have hit. I, I feel it, Zaff. I feel that. For some reason, not hitting is absolutely insane. The dive kick again lands against a limit sim. Wow. Wow. <laughs> but you gotta brush that off and say, I gotta go for a different route then if my character can't do it like that. The drive impact lands. DP. Play and finds a throw. Keep rolling, spending that OD, running out of meter, but it's not gonna matter here. The two hit overhead, not enough to kill. But the throw will definitely put it away, and that is just I, that's just a cami round. Once Dalsum gets cornered, you just have to hold yeah. it. You gotta wake up deal like you used to. You have to use the innate defensive tools like perfect parry, things like that. You've seen that get called out. Perfect parry on the side though. Ferreras, he's ready with it. It's the Oki, the throw. And the thing about that perfect parry is to be called out with throws like this, the OG or normal throw. Jesus Lord. That's a Ty Will, by the way, coming through with the five gifted tier ones. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you for the support to the channel, to you and to everybody who's been supporting tonight as we get the punish counter straight into the super. Gonna build that gauge back and definitely put yourself on a huge lead. Zaffarino alive, but not by much. And not with a lot of far to give. The neutral jump fears coming through. You're through. Ferraris just running over Zaffarino, and it's hard because, again, some of these anti and some of these approaches are hard to catch Cammy. They're a little bit more predicted. You see him taking a second and switch. <gasps> Jamie? Was that you know Jamie? What? I don't think this is a bad matchup for Jamie. I think it's 5-5. Five, five. I think this matchup is 5-5. Five, five. Okay. And so does Zafarino. He thinks this matchup is even. I'm surprised he's sucking out with the Sim, but he has both characters. But let's see how this works out, though. You know, you have the neutral you can play with. Driver of Stain Fierce is good. You can sip the sauce and kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this character. Your DP, you're going to have a blade of reverse situation with the DP in general. I feel like it's not that bad. And again, Zafarino has been cooking with this character. So Ferraris will bring it back. Shut up, dude. Though. Wakes up, but the DP does not work out. <laughs> What's up, dude? Did I just say that Zafarino said this? Relax. OD. He was mad because uh, Gal beats JP. Anyway, that medium kick gets Bruh, the wait, sauce wait. at the end. <laughs> That back is good. Just looks for the jab. Didn't want to overcommit to the DP. Trying to the media breaks the deck again. Are you serious? Well, her Kerana action again? You know what's crazy is that it's like I don't have any drive gauge to commit. So I'm not going to try to go for a crouching media kick in a spiral arrow. I can't get for him in this game. Let me reset that pressure again. Zapparino about to go out. Seth, he'll do something different. Set point for ours. Oh, 
Okay, gonna spend it right away again just to prevent burnout. I do like this spending here, especially up around. So you have plenty of time to gain meter, even if something disastrous happens and you lose this round. That's true. Then heavy hit for the punish counter afterwards. Uh oh. Zafarino sips the sauce. It's the problem with this character. You have to go for Oki or the sip of the sauce. Bakai, no bar spit just yet. Trying to get the dive kick on the throw bait too far off for it though. Drop reversal puts him up in the corner. Dude, very smart with the double standing heavy kick. And the drive reversal there was so intelligent. He tried to decipher like level two, level three, but either way, we'll see what he does and loses. And winners we are still got Goon on the screen. This is Mumano. Perfect parry. Ready. Tries to drive impact. Goon has wasted so much far. Not even in 10 seconds in. Mumano's aiming for that gauge. Staying light kick into the Dragon Lash was so smart there. Is able to get the DP afterwards. Now lay on that pressure. Keep it as long as you can. Try and sneak in the stun where you can. Oh, we could jump off to see it. Thank you for that correction. I didn't know if you could jump off Oh, sorry. Uh, it'd be like that, Jamie. Maybe next season. This one right now can reign supreme, so it's a little bit right now. But one of the said holds the parry, but gets gripped up. Goon in trouble. Anything now at this point, and unfortunately, even with the reaction, didn't have the life to make it work. No health for that transaction. Very typical thing right there. The Street Fighter 6, if you have no health, do not drive impact right back. Not get hit by anything. Mono, starting off strong. Once again with the crouching medium kick. End it with the running DP. Off the walk back, though, with the crouching medium punch. And the shots right. Close, but it's not gonna matter with the ODDP in response. Step kick a little too far. Perry doesn't get much out of it. Oh, I'm a wish punish right there. So the punish counter clipping that crouching medium punch. Resets the pressure. You're dead. Yeah, keeps it excruciatingly simple for the combo as well. Bumano gonna put one on the board. Gonna head here over Goon. Good stuff, Bumano with the purple parry off, off the rip. We saw that in terms of like knocking away that drive cage play as well. I like how he plays this matchup. I like it with the after it though, no big deal, Bumano. Swing out that stand heavy kick. You have to perfect carry more often than not in this meta right now, the game, to drive rush up or at least keep your gauge nice and healthy. Second time, drive rush up. Nice tech. Back to footsies. Be careful. Be careful. Obviously, the one true normal. That crouching medium punch is gonna continue to come through, but crouching medium kick there from Ken, able to get the connection. He's in that right range. Still avoid it. I like that. Umano, stand fierce to the fireball. Gonna hit the make it ball. Another fireball right there. Drive impact right back. He's got the health to play with. Here you go. No, he goes for the Oki. Dash up throw. Drive rush medium. We can drive impact. Oh, the drop that was supposed to be fireball, I bet. Oh, the DP. So unfortunate, but you know that's just how it crumbles. Execution error straight into the follow up from Bumano. I feel like that sometimes. Maybe stand fears again. Catching that crouching medium kick. He tried to switch up the button, but still gets clipped. If you throw this time instead of the low, I'm on a switching it up with another grip. He's catching the walkbacks though. Goon's not too terrible about catching these walkbacks, but again, he drops it low. He's standing that's why that crouching medium kick keeps landing. Level one for the finish. Look at that. Optimal even in the face of victory. Umano. Mono, very aggressive at the start here, trying to walk up with Standing Fierce. Not quite going to get there. Luke going to get a big advantage from the start. And the corner and the step back. There's the parry. Kashi medium punch hits, though. Light knuckle. Frame kill for the throw right after. Mono trying to get sauce up in the corner. And Goon looking way different. Looking more like the Mafia boss out here. Yeah, that's just what you were talking about. Uses the perfect parry and is able to go for the drive impact as well. Recognizes that we're going to land on the fireball. Great confirm from Bumano. Driver stand fierce right after the fireball. As you said, awareness on point from Bumano. 
by Soldier. <laughs> Another one there on the board for Bumano. Gonna set it up for match point here as Goon with a great start. But unfortunately, one good perfect deserves another. Man really says, see you next year. That's crazy work. That's crazy work. <laughs> oh no, Bumano up in the corner. Finds a stand medium kick, but not the crouching medium kick follow up. Surprise. Commitment. That's okay. Bumano. Looking to square things away, jumps out safely. Easy crouching medium punch, run. DP no level three just yet. Oh no! my god, the Tatsu was so insanely clutch. Gotta be ready to punish that. He thought he could with the rising upper, but this is a downer. Damage up down. Shiryu Repa. There's one more hit to seal it. Romano looking. Oh no, he was trying to block low, but don't follow up. Don't go with the drop again. One more hit. One yeah. solid fireball. Bro, a touch will kill. But Goose will bring this back. Mark the bottom is pointed out. Drive in pack and no. Goon with no health. Ah, uh, went for the drive rush. I thought he was going to go for the CA out of that. That was over and over again. I want more. So, you know, Aki, a great, uh, a great example of that. I agree. I, I do want more. Oh, give me Rolento. Please, God, give me Rolento. Like, give my character, and then y'all can, can do what you gotta do. Okay. Brown Star OD Fireball play is definitely how you should start with this character. You wanna initiate a little bit of that advancement against the character that's gonna be using pokes as fireballs. Enzo got hit with the drive impact board. Heavy kick drive rush. His follow ups are nasty. Yeah, poison applied. Okay, pop the bubble. Actually put yourself at the perfect spacing for the anti-air there, but wasn't quite ready. And again, like I said, interesting little uh, aspects to be able to play anti-fireball. He's got it. He's got the damage to the extensions as well. And again, the poison, when it's applied, you get more damage, but more of those extensions. Kind of get your game plan around those options. But the with the throw, Carson is letting any jumps happen. Yeah, punish counter definitely. Look at that, all the way to the wall. I mean, that's Ken Master special. The corner carry for this character is just unbelievable. She doesn't have a DP. She does have a level one to get out, but the parry is there. Way to bait in the health gonna be decimated. Damn. Watch this take it off right now. Enzo's not afraid to jump, but I respect that. You shouldn't be until they establish like a good entire game. Which she does have tools with. You have to be very picture perfect. Drops over the crouching unit kick. Dragon Lash. Shifu Jinrai. Enzo. Well, Kage. Yeah, able to, able to salvage that extra meter into the last round as well. Definitely a really, really good showing right now. Throwing fireballs at really good spacings as well. Has to deal with the OD. Does get poisoned, but it's not going to matter. Chav right after the drive rush and the perfect parry. As soon as he's on the minus he's like, let me match that perfect parry. I like that. Get that turn back. OD fireball. Plus rain. He holds it. Oh, no. Parsis running the command grab. Back to neutral, though. <gasps> okay. We're out of there. <laughs> that was a little scary. Yeah. I'm surprised though Drive Rush stay fierce. I think they would have caught the recovery, but maybe I'm wrong. Nice drive Rush crouching unit kick. That's when that button gets real nasty. We have the Drive Rush behind it. We hit the level three. Enzo. Gonna be, you know, losing some more. Not a lot though. But more importantly, Carson is getting more of his bar back and also having a nice little lead. And that corner position. Jesus, the punish counter to follow though. Not quite enough to kill. Nice tag. But we still get the poke out there. Carson has locked it down. Game one in the books. Enzo. I mean, Enzo, I feel like he's doing a lot of the right things, though. He's playing footsies pretty decently well. It's just... What do you think the adjustment is here? So, personally, your fireball game got to be better. Okay, that's some punish. Good stuff. You're bearing up the fireball approach, it seems. It's hard for Carson to kind of cut through. Also, I feel like when you have him caught up in the corner, more of that throw pressure. She can go for the uh, OD... Snake stance, cancel, try to like slither on out, but throws will blow up everything she wants to do on defense besides level one. So I want to see more of those grips happen from the side of Enzo. Yeah, switch it up, pressure, off the plus range. Jump, no! The area right there, but still caught up in the corner. Hey, steps back with standing heavy instead, just able to find the crouching medium kick, slices it on in there. Enzo, head on the rounds here, trying to even these games up as best he can. 
grab off. Perfect parry would also work out, but simply holds the parry, finds the crushing unit kick, and then gets the gym right right after it. In the fireball game, definitely a lot more. Arson was a hat. He has to like commit to like OD fireball, but close range, he can see you see is fine. The same heavy kick punish counter, the throw right after. And throw with the poison ticking as well. Really makes you feel a little impatient here. You gotta do your best to act like it's not there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening. It's not happening. When the damage adds up, bro, it's hard to ignore. Command grab. Carson is switching it up. They say just react, but just like that, even a young cat like Enzo cannot do anything in the face of that command grab. Oh, the slither into the stop. I like that again. Sneaky with the anti-fireball. Trying to brute force it there with the drive rush for Aki. I'm looking too deterred. Punish. To the infant, they get the fireballs coming through. Run DP level three immediately. Close to burnout. Ends up looks like a meaty fireball after this. We like a meaty OD fireball. Probably two from a burnout. Catch off the driver, stand fierce, unafraid. Same, safe options. This is a 13 year old kid on vitamin gummies. All right, he ready. Looks for the jab, missed times it there. Karsus wakes up with a throw, and all of a sudden, the second lease on life, especially with the poison applied, tries to read the fireball. Well, that's an easy parry. I don't know if you can drive from that distance. You might have to do, might have to be like a little bit closer to the front set level two. But either way, Enzo is content to chill, and I like this here from Enzo. So I'm a little too aggressive previously. Now he slowed it down. Might be his round. The jab did not commit to that counter jab. The grip right after another tech. Karsus is attacking for damn dear life. The little attack. I like that. I like that. Enzo has been so defensive after that exact sequence of parry so, so often. Time to do it, especially in the situation where it's for the game. I really like that DP choice. At that point, I mean, you could have survived the next interaction that would have happened. So, definitely don't mind it. He's been playing pretty patient, too, as well. Enzo evening things out. Fireball against a light lag. That's actually not a bad option against the fireball pressure. But if they go for a drive impact, you're going to get killed for it. Perfect parry. Takes care of that normal. Overhead, and he gets the all. Oh, he gets the meaty overhead from that too. Well, see the extension right there. Mm, he's trying to go for some kind of shimmy there. Carson is not too worried about it here. Looks for the jab and takes a step back. There's the crouching medium punch though on a missed space throw. Side switch. Shifu Jinrai. Enzo lets it fly. He's up around now. Along with the game that he has. Very dominant, looking more emotions with it. He wants to play and not getting duped by command grabs in weird situations. It seems like he's way more important. Playing patient, too, as well. Oh, and are already Carsonist on that block DP now on the blocked up fireball, rather, is just being so much more patient now. The DP has been wrapped. Counter hit comes through, is able to get the full conversion, and now look back to the wall. But just eject your sheets out. Careful now. It'll be punishable. You get the snake bite, the extension off of it. Poison applied. So Carson's looking for it. Get some of that poison going and flowing. Get some of that lean. Hit him with the super. Damage. Dumped out right here. Up in the corner too as well. Knocking on the door. Enzo. Defense can be challenged and tested. Light lash hits. Attack. The variance against the fireballs too as well. Carson is showing something different against these fireballs. Just allowing the poke from coming through. Oh, there you go. Like a poke at the perfect distance here. A bar, a piece. And so unfortunately, feels like he's been put on the defensive in so many odd situations here. It's not a bad thing though for Kendall. He's got the options to fight back and get yeah. a lot more reward in terms of corner carry. But the calls on the fireballs are going to be even worse as Carson dumps out the bar. That snake fight in that level two again. Poison applied. Enzo doesn't have the lead. The only DP against the drive rush. No more perfect pair. Going for the only DP reversal as a rebuttal. Ooh, had to step back there, but the timing is just a little bit off. Looks for the overhead. Easy pair to come through. But we are just bro, we are chin rying everything. There's the level three. He saw the counter hit and has been three for three, or at least two for two on it. Getting extension, you're caught up in the corner, passing on that super, and still getting ahead of himself. We need a little grip of damage right now, and the poison too as well. Punish, yeah, too far the distance, he goes for the reset. But he wants that right pressure, the drive impact, right after that, and the bar spin, yes sir, Enzo.
two up now. Round one. Definitely in trouble. Okay. Slowly fireball. Definitely getting a lot of room. Gets the hit on the punish counter. Knocked down. And that extra pressure into the corner. Well, real fan against these fireballs. So seeing more options against the fireballs as things are going on. Carson adding more to the menu. ODDP against the plus frames. Yeah, Carson's trying to enact some plus frames off that OD fireball. Might fade it up next. Let's see what happens. Oh, Ash again. The turn after that. Yeah, the snake kicks. You lose your turn. Plus frame. Ooh. Trying to clip that crouch and you kick again with the light lash. Uh, in the step back, didn't get too much else for it. Didn't spend any of the drive gauge. Tries to go for the throw. The jump over actually does make it out of the corner here. And Carson is, unfortunately, though, miss spacing. Let's end up kind of just hold up forward to get out of the situation. It's a black kick, real nasty. Good way to leave the corner. I don't know if she's got a good way to stop cross up. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Get her, her anti spacing game got to be, again, she perfect. See right there. Anti not landing. The drop impact right back. Enzo proving and he's got the reactions. And the young man is about to put Carson is. To bad. Round two. Set point. Enzo. Oh, straight jump in just like that. Gets the punish counter afterwards as well. Maybe think there was going to be a reset. We're just going to cash out straight away. The poison applied. You see Enzo in the back, but it hasn't been the best for him. So maybe that's what Carson uh, is relying upon. Fireball. Lock him down. No bait this time yet. He's looking for the ODDP that time, but Enzo doesn't bite. <gasps> what a call out. I feel like you were going to run that either way. The drive impact in level one to seal the deal. Like there have been that sequence where you see like the, the, the Dragon Lash come up and he wants to right, right. Like, connect some of that pressure. Right. I feel like Carson was like, if I see you off your feet at any point, I'm just going to, I'm going to hit it. Uh-uh. The turn. Look, it's a walk-up throw, though. Wow, things just really starting to add up here from bad to worse. Odie Fireball straight into the drive impact. Easy answer. Again, Enzo with the reactions. Level three. Uh, That's us in a bad way, bro. It's the burnout. We'll go for Drive Rush Stan Pierce again. It's bar at the bottom. Drive Rush throw instead. Okay. Now it's attack on Drive Gauge. Attack on health, the anti is right there, the shore you as the anti choice. <gasps> Out of there. Oh my god! And the super to beat the dragon lash! We see the option so continuously, Carson. But now only has one more bar to their name. Enzo, you gotta be wary. But he is in the lead. Bar back for Carson is. Can he be an RSS and burn down this kid's chances of moving on in the bracket? Plus frame, the throw, he takes that. Wait for the OD fireball on both sides here. Both of them looking like their little gun shot. Perfect parry. Impact. Enzo. Going to get the kill. Even with the scaling, the Tatsu right after. That was clean. You are a machine. Generally, you see other people doing like, oh, I'm just like, real estate. Go ahead and do it right now. Okay. Going to put up some more matches. Enzo's 13. Oh, my God. Well, happy birthday also, Enzo. And again, we're on this boat, people, as we're getting close to that top spot for ours versus Noah the Prodigy. Tell me about these young cats out here. Noah, I guess he's 21, so he's really so young. He's definitely a prodigy when it comes to street fighting. Fighting games in general. Although, again, look for the crouch medium. Goes to cross up there. Puts himself in a bad spot, though. I like that drive reversal. Mule coming through with the contribution. I'll see. Hopefully, oh, I said that name right. All right. In burnout. Gotta be careful, Raras. Usually it's Noah that's in burnout. Sweep off the feet, the raw stuff. Air to air is right there. Meaty crouch, fierce, counter hit. Just the pressure. Oh, trying to stay active on the defense there. You saw him tap the parry. Next time we try to go for the jab, wakes up the throw this time. Air throw. Raras is so ready. Ooh. Oh, he Wait. drops it low to avoid the beast mode. I'm gonna say it for Raras. I committed to that option, but it was still sick. Avoiding the beast mode, but it's gonna get hit. 
The DP whips. Oh god. Bad to worse after such a great start to that one. Unfortunately, things don't quite go your way, but there's the perfect parry, so another opportunity here. Especially with knowing how you spent, uh, spent those two bars in that last round, that's definitely good here. Five rush, ODDP immediately against what looked like to be crouching medium punch. The anti is already crossed with dive kick. Rushing this man down. Crouch for his entire. It's too good. It's real good. Oh, this shit gets a suppressor. Okay, trade came out. And yeah, I mean, it's hard to blame Noah in a spot like that. When you're Luke and you're trading on counter hits, you're going to want to press that crouching medium punch pretty much always afterwards. Heavy kick? No. Spiral arrow. Okay. Bro, trying to kill that gauge. But then again, Noah lives in burnout. I mean, in a positive way. He's got the bar spawn to back himself up. He's going to go into burnout for this exact reason. The level three just yet. That push to the corner is getting closer and closer. The jump fierce. Blessing the dome. Christing the cranium. And now it's ground and pound. The health is going down. Hard knockdown just with that little step forward here. No anti air gets the throw. Back to up in the drive impact. No reaction, but no, I guess he commits to that drive brush and he'll die. That decision is super. Actually gets the kill for once. One of Cammy's supers that's not level three actually kills. Good stuff. Well calculated for us. <laughs> So I tried to take a step forward, does get the punish counter actually, and looks for the low, but in the end has to take that step backwards. And after a punish counter jab, sitting on a pretty decent lead here with Noah, trying to go for the green stuff right away afterwards. Good answer with the DP. Look at those anti approaches. We see him have a few issues with the dot kicks previously. So that throw right after crouching medium punch, whipping. Surprise. Rarus gets his off, slower arrow. He sets the pressure with the Fears. But there again, the crouching medium punch drops the conversion. That's very rare from Noah. Jump didn't get there. Gets the air to air. Uses the OD dive kick for the conversion. So smart. Such a smart way to spend your resources. Recognize the routing student of the game type activity, Cola. I really like that. Understanding what calculate with the versus combos. Now he's got the Oki. He's riding the momentum. Noah down a game and a round. Like actually down a game and a round. Perfect carry. Spin knuckle. Oki once again. At least Noah's blocking low. Does he get open up with that crouching medium kick in burnout? But again, not a problem for Noah. You can see him use the bar at the bottom to equalize things if need be. But he doesn't land a confirm. It's a big waste of bar. Jamie. Can you close this nice tech? Two bars available, depending on the hit here. We'll be able to get the kill, and especially with that, tries to go for the knuckle to miss time the jump in potentially. And unfortunately, it's gonna get you stretched out in the worst way. Two games straight. <laughs> you ain't lying. <laughs> Even on B day, bro. <laughs> Listen, Not what bro, I'm into. I was gonna say, if that's you, that's you. I respect. <laughs> Well, that ain't me. I can't stress that way. I'm too old. Little Valentine's Day treat, dog. Yeah, I ain't got it like that, bro. As soon as the first number hit three, don't touch me. Yeah, no, no, no. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm find something freakier than me. So I switched up for the side of Ferraris. Hasn't come up in the corner. And honestly, it's been risky options that Ferraris is punishing perfectly. We saw him not go for a DP anti-air previously. It was like an actual, I'm going to wait for you to recover on the ground. Then you're going down. And look at this. Punish counter again. Power arrow into the super. He's going to spin that bar at the bottom to get the win. Well, where they're able to find the median again. Noah tries to be active on the defense. Whatever he presses just doesn't work out. One round away from being sent to the loser's bracket here in top 24. I'm used to seeing nope. Noah go to losers like in like winner's finals if he gets sent. <laughs> right. But the thing is, honestly, the way Carson is playing, or I'm sorry, Ferraris is playing, he's playing so aggressive that Noah is not able to keep up and seeing some rare drops from him. I don't know if he shook it or what. Finds the jump, fears, resets the pressure with the throw right after. And Burnout will definitely have to leave the health. Oh, I don't know if you're looking for like a throw tech or something to get like the side switch off the OD throw arrow, but wasn't meant to be. Noah blocks it out and punishes. Saves off that set point for a little bit longer. Press the button pretty early in the jump too. Prevents the air to air. Oh, 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 oh,
Light, not from conversion, into heavy. I spin the bar just yet. Double neutral jump shimmy. Jesus. Noah, <laughs> he's like, you ain't gonna stop me. I'm gonna keep doing it. Diddle plan is all the fist. Well, just the, the sword normal, dog. Luke jump fierce, man. That's the tweet. Oh, Look at it again, oh. dude. Jump medium kick to switch it up a little bit. Noah back in business. He's like, what if I jump? What if I just did the shimmy of the double neutral jump piece? What, what if I did that? So many chats said no one needs to stop jumping so much. Uh, he's like 100 for 100 on jumping fierce, bro. Maybe hold up a little more, to be honest. If, bro, gonna stop gonna, him. if he's not going to stop it, yeah, why would you Why would you stop? I wouldn't stop, bro. I'm going to keep doing it. Look at the reward that he gets off his character. I mean, like, come on now. Let my man jump. The jump man. Right now. It's a walk back. Perfect carry on the stand fierce. This is a note we're used to seeing. Jump in again. <laughs> Neutral jump. It's just that easy. Nice block on the DP as well. Noah, I don't know. Maybe a, a little stretch between games or something. We are seeing a different. We're seeing, first, we were just seeing Noah. We're back to the prodigy, brother. Yes, yeah, sir. He's like, lock in. Up from the mud. <laughs> Do I get the overhead reset? Only DP gets him outside that corner. Back in again. Raw DP. That could not have been what he wanted. Had him in a fireball. Needs some damage. Ferraris gets a moment right back in his hands. So again, great tag. Turns green. Not going to get much. Delays that crouching medium really heavy, too. Went for quite the run on the way through. Noah, depending on the hit here, will get the kill. It's CA. Oh, we found a button. Back medium punch. Works out in the clutch. Now, you have to be careful with that button. It won't always work in that corner play. You might get dusted. But I do like that Ferraris is not just getting blessed you know what i'm saying i will say also maybe perfect carry might work out as well Ooh, old parry. oh that's definitely big depending on the next interaction instead we just dp indeed bar at the bottom all two stuff on both sides back media punch that's the entire choice the air to air right there with the jump light kick Brawler's gonna catch him on the way down yeah i'm gonna say my man committed he put a ring on it he said will you let me level three you. Unfortunately, Noah didn't have much to say about it. Has to go for the jab, tries to go for the walk underneath, doesn't buy much, but checks! The, the attempt is stealing the plus frames! CA! Did it work? It does! <laughs> Yo, Noah's like, I ain't going down sad, bro. I'm going down mad. He's got bar to work with too as well. He's got more health, drive rush, crouching, media punch. Noah's still in the game! Oh my god, Luke just cannot be beat. Final game between the two. Oh, no way. Let's it rock full screen. It's that kind of game right now. They slugging. Waffle House style. Shirts are off. Shoes are off. Cops have them caught, but they ain't coming through. Back heavy Kickstarter. A lot of damage on the deck here, Noah. That's when he needs a bar. He's looking for that drive impact. He gets it. He's going to be able to get the kill. No bar necessary. No bar at the bottom at all. Oh, walks up, gets the jab, dry brush, actually gets such a huge reward because of it. To the corner already, finds the crouching medium punch, things bad to worse here, but the perfect parry. Looks for the side switch. Oh, there's a recovery on that. Oh, this counter. See, from the side of Noah, perfect parry, saves the day. If would've got opened up, he would've got dusted. Impact, DP. Oh my god. God, it almost felt like it comboed Noah the Prodigy crouching fierce for the anti-air. Oh my god, after looking cooked. That's true. You can always switch if need be, but as you point out, his Kimberly is fantastic. No matter what the character, or people's thoughts of the character may be, he still rocks his character and puts people through a blender up in the corner. His neutral is so good that it helps lead them there. So even if it might be deficiency on paper, He's been able to avoid it and walk around it. Even the worst matchup for Kimberly. Honestly, she's not that bad. She's Kimberly players like she's like the worst character. She's really not. Mm, that's a great check there. As soon as you see that spray paint come out, jab pretty easily able to answer a lot of the different actions that potentially can come out. Throw right after. Get on the mat. Another throw again. This time the medium crouching medium punch. Shine blocks it out. DP is ready. Needs to block this out. He actually jumps over. It's a fun to punish. But stand near death right here. But tries to burn out. Dude calls out the run stop in the most confident way possible. Descends the DP. 
first victory. Perfect parry. You see most people just like waiting for that to go away, just block it out. And they're like, all right, I'll just wait for you to win. Perfect parry for the side of Weeds. Suppressor. Forget the overhead. Yeah, tournament Weeds look a little bit different. It's the same dude I saw in the World Warrior Midwest. Mm. Parry doesn't get much. Still trying to keep it solid here. One crouching medium kick from either player at this point. Defense would be game changing. We sit on level three. Just looking for that standard kick. You can see overhead, the dash up throw. Shine, can get that OD upper. Dash Ooh. up, no back throw, just a normal throw. Oh, oh. get that stand fears. It was out. Wow, and that is, considering the situation, that was a pretty aggressive step forward there for Weeds. Unfortunately, now, we're gonna have to hold the level three. We're gonna go into the final round. You do have that meter advantage, but we are sitting on the most important thing, I'd say, is having that buff to have that extra damage and that extra little bit of speed in Footsie is gonna help so much against the normals from Luke. Having damage that's comparable to other characters and speed as well. Help you up in the corner, make those mixes even nastier. Definitely means there's never a bad time to run that level three at all. ODP though. Weeks wants some distance to drive rush. Tech though, shine wants nothing of that grip. Crouching mini punch into light knuckle. Back throw from the side of shine. Chaser. Oh, watching the crouching medium kick. That brave walk up here for Weeds. Close to defeat level three. How do you how do you get off your back at this point? The crouching medium, brave. no easy punish counter. It's not a bad option if you get it on hit, but if it's on block, obviously you should see minus three shine alive for a little bit longer. Build that bar at the bottom, but her like roll like steamrolling. It's kind of hard in this game. Anti right there with a the Crouch Fierce punish counter. Oh, man. I think it actually was counter hit, but still got the follow up right after. Like crouch Fierce. I mean, that button, as you saw before, previously, is like good against Teleport. And yeah, knowing that Force Knockdown was going to come out very smart. Same medium kick. Goes for the follow up. Nice attack. Get yourself some room. And the DP as well. Punish, follow up, slide a five for that corner pressure, crouching medium kick. At one thing she can at least do if she gets those confirms. Even though she has T-Rex arms, she's like in the corner pretty quickly. Passing through the bar, but can do so expeditiously. Perfect carry is the entire choice. Topsy right after. Overhead. Do it again. So I'm afraid kill crouching medium kick. Okay, both players going for the jump forward. Doesn't get much from either side. Drive impact, though. He's going to be the one to find something here. Finds that knockdown. And again, that's a good tech, though, from Shine. He's been driving impact again. No chance. Right back. Stand heavy Kickstarter. The Crouch Fears still have more in the tank. Still have more if need be. Shine putting around the board. A little bit more uh, solidified the stability. Side of Shine. Drive rushing with the medium. One cancels for damn days, he's not reacting. Okay. Knockdown. All through, looks that little step back. Pressure continues. Oh my god, Shine is surgical in this corner for the corner pressure. The way that we kind of structure offense, the little bits of distance he gives, just enough room to make you feel like you can press those normals from Luke. Shine, man. What execution of the game plan. As soon as it's cornered, it's just like you said. Round one. on the corner, and that's where she's able to work. And it's not, he doesn't back up enough where like, it's just crouching medium kick. Like enough for like Stan Fierce to work out. Where you might get tapped by crouching medium punch on the side of Luke and lose your life. You might get hit with that and see God. Fake out, yeah, walk up throw on the recovery of the parry. Having parry over too often. Weeks catching on. Double drop. Almost got the counter hit against that Crouch Fierce. I'm sorry, punish counter. Weeks recovered. It comes Super, he calls it out. Bro, this character Super suck, bro. They're so slow. They're not good. Oh, that's a 
again. Oh, a little too far, actually. Taps the parry as well. Both players in a burnout here. Yeah, worse off for Shine if the fireball pressure keeps going to flow and off those mediums. If we can get in. But Shine trying to get effective with it. Maybe try to yeah, run up the blocks of throw. Weeks back with Bar now after that throw. So Shine. Stand medium Dude. kick is just fine to interrupt that drive rush. I feel like that's one of the nicest things about Kimberly is that you're one of your best normals just for stop signing is also amazing for canceling for being the party starter. So yeah, with the DP, you get too much else after the tech. The only problem is, is like you don't have anything else to structure it. Around. So like her offense gets linear because like that's like your best button, like your best button to get your offense started and your defense. They can work around that. But right now, Shine is working beats up in the corner, overhead, Vagabond in that level three. Once again, they're singing my song. Oh, dude. And having to potentially fight through two rounds, even if you do manage through this onslaught here. Only one can available, though, depending on the knockdown. Okay, that right range for that crouch gets to work out if need be. Drive rush is in for the offense. Triple lights and the light. Knuckle, the drive rush throw right after. Weeks with a dash up throw against. It's a counter hit. Suppressor this time. Switching up this offense. And against these options on wake up sends up that level one to get it done i like the variants Just like that especially being able to get out of there with two bars still intact a little bit of beast mode still sitting on the sidelines here the potential to build up the level three we get a huge punish counter what a crazy start look at that only a little bit of our bar spent push to the corner well, careful with those i feel like a crouch risk actually might work out that he's betting everything on baiting out that DP there. Nice jabs again, active defensive from Weeds. Take a step forward, but this time it's a little too far. He had the same idea as you. Oh, he baited out the OD. He's got the bar at the bottom. Ultimately, I think just he had to wait for level three, get all juiced up, but he's hit burn on his back. His only defense is like a level one, a level three if need be. We find a gap. He calls out the throw. It's 1 800 damage. Another level three for a victory. How many times have you seen a level three in a Kimberly match? How many times have you ever seen Kimberly in the first place with Shy? Now up two games. Man, Jesus Christ, man. Layer in the tracks. Two to one. That is messy, messy. Here we go. Shot up the start. Patient as always. Get the EX. I feel like we've seen that exact sequence into the throw so so often. Just like Shine just gets all the real estate because of it, but the drive impact is checked. Nice. Back on drive cage for drive impact. They're going for damage. You're aiming for that drive cage. You're putting in burnout. And her defense is probably the worst in the game. She really doesn't have any options for damn near anything. I like that Shine's getting offensive. That's going to build your bar back as you walk forward, dash forward, press buttons on them on block or on hit. It builds your bar back up faster. We'll drop again, try to call it that crouch, just get a punish. Doesn't get hit with the drive impact. Mm, try to tap the pair for a second time again. This is the perfect pair to try and get big reward. There's the tech. The jump over. That turns into a punish counter throw. Oh, that parry. I'll call it the crouching medium kick in. Wheat staves off that point for a little bit longer. For how long shine. Blink that bar at the bottom. Wait for the seed. Maybe level three. And see what he does instead of just doing like the elbow drop to fall off the crouch fierce. Like, what's the approach on the ground now? Oh my god. Scary situation with the no ants here. There wasn't going to be able to get close enough for the crouch fierce. She didn't feel like. And that's a step back with the shimmy. OD pin. High enough. He's going to go for the vagabond in the level three. No cans necessary just yet. But again, never a bad time to play that two to hand them the ox because you know the buck again more damage more speed and look at this an absolute execution up in the corner slide applied shine with the perfect onset point okay, it's level three. oh this time i actually tried to go for the run cancel not looking for the throw in that sequence. No anti-air. You cannot let Shine get started with these jumps. I know he's been sneaky with the way he's been changing his jump arcs here. But now the strike though continues. Nice from the Stan Pierce. Nice interruption against the teleport. Saw the smoke cloud has something for him. Level three just yet. Chasing. Looking for the shimmy. Nobody home. Here to go. Jump Pierce. What? Ended up for the back door. That was crazy. 
can handle in. Yep. Vagabond, that's the nasty thing. You almost get baited by the press a button, but Shine is pressing every button right now. In a level two, stays ever optimal, even in the face of victory. And Shine takes the W against Wheats. Kimberly wins. Good match. Good. Fireball game that like is, is correct when you don't under, fully understand the ins and outs of the pacings of the game that you're playing. So, you know, that's something that just comes with time, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, mean, I feel like this game has developed the meta that, you know, people didn't really expect in terms of like, oh, this character beats this character. There's still different regions that disagree on who beats who. And I think that, again, tells the tale of how this game is still increasing in terms of development. Obviously, you know that, you know, Luke out here, but other things can change in terms of how to approach matchups or who wins what or how they win. Now, Umano and Burnout can be hard to win like this. Another one for defense. There it is. Side switch. Drive impact, looking to catch a limb. To do so. Anti again. It's hard to always anti this character. You're worried about dive kick. Reach up low. Speaking of dropping it low, that dude gets a crouching mid kick dive kick. The bust out here from Bumano with the ODDP. Bets it. Stays alive. Walks in the crouching mid kick from Jinrai. First round of Bumano. Relax, Chad. It's not even third. Relax, Chad. I know it's Valentine's Day, but come on, Dave. Keep your hands where I can see them. Anyway, nothing. OD right through the fireball. You can't throw out bad fireballs. It's a problematic thing, especially with that spin line. There's one of the ways to get caught up. Catch a case, the DP. Nothing to do. Lose with a lot of bar at the bottom two as well. Level three on the side of Nothing to do. Damage can be dumped out at any point. Boy, trade. Not bad here for dude. He's got the lead. You might have got to be careful that sweep. It's punishing. Okay, nice. Counter sand, medium kick starter. Has gone for the corner, but committed to a button. Gets hit with a dive kick. Power arrow, Oki. Gonna throw. Mono. I was gonna say, had the lead in bar, but definitely not in health. Level three, locked on. Nice, locked in. Knuckle with the first win. All right, chat. I should call it. All right, yeah, 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 yeah. Some of y'all like a little vanilla. I get it. Anyway, Knuckle Doom. First victory. <laughs> Which... <laughs> it's okay. On, man. <laughs> Umar might hate it, but I love it. Anyway. <laughs> it looks to fall from the top. It's a little too far. It's okay, though. <laughs> Side switch off the Odie Dragon Lad. Stand Fierce, one cancel into the throw. Didn't commit to anything right after that one cancel. We'll still get these jabs off. The drive rush. Yeah, level one for the kill. Yeah, loop that bar. Definitely the correct way to go about it. Get yourself in that nice little lead here. So Fumano. Trying to use up the games here. Finds a crouching medium, but isn't able to go for the drive rush there as Knuckle Dude finds that cross up deep as hell. It's a good punch with that stand heavy kick. Side switch, good for Knuckle Duke. A throw right after. Preemptive, ODDP. Get some room. Give me some space, it's not you, it's me. Punishable, too close for comfort with that toe tap. It whipped, oh Lord. You know Knuckle Duke's already drafted up a tweet. Yeah, just trying to harass to find that burnout. Definitely the right call, especially with the OD fireball there. with the dive kick, stand light kick. Oh man, anybody's game right now. Umano with the bar though. Oh Goal! my god. And that was extra scary too for Duke because you couldn't even really block CA chips at that point, I feel like. The fact that he went for a dive kick at that distance, could have got clipped with a fireball. Damn, dude. Job locked in for Capcom Cup. He has the jersey on. He's playing like he's got a million dollars on the line right now. Hey, listen, Umano, you, got, you got to turn up like that, bro. Perfect, perfect practice breeds perfect performance. Definitely the right call. That's true. I feel that. Good fireballs in a row. 
Just as close with drive rush jab and then just chills, but maybe chills a little too hard there as Dew is able to buy a little bit of real estate back. So we shimmy back and forth with crouching mediums here. Just like penalizing him to come in. Like he gets him with a dive kick. Stand medium kick, one more. One easy stand medium kick, crouching medium kick, anything. A slight breeze, a steeze will kill. Uh oh. Uh -oh. sound the sickness. Fencing A right away? Okay. Anything at this point. Get your gauge back. Put him on the back foot. Close the burnout out. With a dive kick again! He knew he was going for a crouching middle kick or a button. That dive kick is such a good way. It has been for years upon years with Scammy Cammy right now. A good on the gate port. Look, he's move on the top eight. Found those jabs as well. As the Tatsu, the empowered Tatsu with the corner carry. Down after the DP and the sequence continues, finds the throw, but wakes up, up forward into OD dive kick. All outs on the throw, ready, knock will do. <gasps> finds the back, Brentless, the back, medium punch, anti-air, just lying that OD Tatsu. I saw people have problems with that previously. However, Bumano still in the lead. He brought this back, it's doable. Oh my God. She doesn't get the full confirm though, has to go for the drive reversal. Takes the step backwards, punish counter on the champ, knuckle do. Set point now. He is so nasty up in the corner. I mean, she's so good with that strike though, no matter what game, but I feel like the drive rush behind it with the fear of God, the TK die kicks and things like that. That's looking like a wrap right now. Who hasn't caught up in the corner? Fumano does have far to work with. Calls out the crouching unit kick as an anti shimmy tool. Fumano with a bust out. Hold on now. Mono, no too close to that stand, heavy kick, and knuckle to once again, cracks the neck, and cracks this man's chances of moving on in that bracket, 3-0, he said this is real practice, this is real, this is real to me. There you go, just like that, puts himself on the winner's side, locked in at that point. Add it, think of me as your valentine, if you add my... <laughs> Let's get into our match, so top eight is beginning. <laughs> I move on from that. I realized I was like, wow, they're not going to donate now. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I would. I had 100%. Oh, I dropped goodness. 10 in. <laughs> Let me get Look, over that proxy res, baby. Looks for the dab. Is able to get away. Very nice stuff. Oh, I like this classic right here. Fonji versus Shine. Winner side. Calls out the throw with the jump. Fierce once again. We see this man holding north to put people south. It's been working out a lot. Oh, the reset Ooh. with the drive pick back. It's so nasty for that. The OD follow up too as well. No, the prodigy gets the first victory. Bandana, match you gonna go five, buddy. We can do that. That's possible. Why y'all wanna see my forehead so bad for no reason? It's y'all obsessed. <laughs> the people are they're into what they're into, okay? We don't keep shame, bro. Let them do what okay. they gotta do. Maybe, maybe when it's about foreheads. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Knocked down, trying to go for the jump back. Nice little step away, but unfortunately, wasn't that far enough away. Perfect parry is an easy answer. Walks back, gets in with a standing kick starter. Run side apply, double dashes up. This time the neutral jump from Sean, but it's DP from Noah. Then burnout for definitely not options. He's like, bro, I dare you to drive impact. That's burnout is confirmed. And now we can confirm the time of death is. 63 seconds on the dot. The super should make a drop. Yeah, Noah. Damn, so I mean, with authority, able to close out the first round here. Shine being a little more aggressive with how they're trying to take real estate at the start of this one. But again, dude, the DP, the punish counter, finds the throw afterwards as well. Look at the difference between weeds and how the world plays. Very aggressive on the ground continuously. His DP ratio is so good until, I'm sorry, commentary is cursed. Now that's the worst. Throw in burnout, called out the DP. Shine has not caught up on the corner. Now. Drive impact immediately. Yep, didn't set up the can either, so. Next mix up, have to see how it applies. There's the can. Gets the trade, walks forward after the parry. Perfect parry twice in a row, though. Noah is so unafraid of just tapping parry in spots like that. Damn! Bro, so is Shine, so blue kind of day, as you would say. I see no positive the skies, and again! The forecast says blue, bro. Chaser, jump fierce again. Drive rush in. Trying to open him up. Noah blocked with three finds a crouching and kick. Now Shine's dropping. Throw. 
Dude, twice in a row. Got him in the infinite. It's a good god. The throw loops continue. Noah looking to state the claim here. Two games in a row potentially, but that's a great start with the overhead. And goes into level three very early. I love this decision. Never a bad time to get the buff. Had to come up in the corner too as well to enact that damage even more so with this character. Where she really is able to live with teleports and heavy kick plus. Delayed jab saves the day, gets the counter too as well. Side switch from his side. It's a frame kick attack though from Shine. So you can see with the jab. Now he's the one in the corner. Oh, and things are just not getting easier here. Does get the block though. All of a sudden, he's looking a little better here. Tries to go for the jump, it does not work out. Well, had it. He had the drop though, unfortunately. Three is on the side. The area right there. <laughs> Level one. What a conversion. He gets a bump of the force knockdown. Stop it, bro. Stop it. You're crack, you don't have bro. to do that. No, you, you crack. You don't have to do that. <laughs> you crack, bro. You actually crack. Oh my for that. God. So is that button. That jump heavy kick is actually insane. What a start here. Gets a crash medium. I'm still sitting back in my chair from this one, brother. I'm not getting up. I'm staying reclined the rest of the way. He looks for the jab too far away, but it doesn't matter. Investment there with the drive rush twice in a row and blocks the drive reversal as well. Trying to say difficult to run that off continuously for defense. To be fair, I don't really see Noah utilizing that often. So good call from Shine. Oni Tatsu is fine. Hard to anti with, but Shine's on the mark with it. Attack on the throw. <laughs> the jump fierce again, bro. <laughs> On the jump back into the overhead as well. Noah, just every single normal. All these punch normals. Every single one, the whole top row. They're all top shelf, bro. When it comes to loot, they're blessed. They're good. Counter hit, crouch fierce, charge up medium, light. Look for the chase instead of the heavy knuckle. Yes, I like this for the throw. Oh my Shimmy. god, a little bit of the in and out. And now look has the level three. Next up, do it gets the trade. That's not a trade in your favor, though. Perfect parry. Can you find an opening? Yeah, you can't drive impact. Let that level through and let it go for free. Flip out. Plus. Okay. Not getting much done, though. Is it getting too much chip in this situation? Ends up taking the throw. <laughs> you woke up that? With that? No way. That must have woke up nah. super. That had to have been wake up super. I don't know what that was. He was a dodge that decision. Unfortunate. That's the first time I've seen Noah block that much in a round. He's rewarded by a big mistake. Definitely unfortunate. Yeah, neutral jump, heavy kick. Saves the day. Big pickup here. Level three. Let's get that bar back and put Shine up in the corner. Shine in a really tough spot now. A couple guesses in a row are going to be required here. Distance closed, finds a throw. With punish, is that stand kick we talked about? Good button on hit, but mm, not when it's out and about like that. Oh, DDT! <laughs> Don't run up on me, bro. I ain't no doormat, dog. Appreciate it, thank you. I. The, the amount of traveling I've done for this game has been a lot, but it's been worth it. It's been a lot, bro. <laughs> it's, but it's worth it. I mean, I love this game. I love seeing people get deleted and defeated. Their life gauge gets sapped away. The pain on their face. Seeing it firsthand is beautiful. So appreciate the Capcom letting me see it firsthand at the biggest. But you see this taken down between these two. Joe Lee Rogan and Knuckle Do. Okay, already a good start off of this one. Knock down, dashes forward, and then just chills a little bit. Damn, you kick right back. Oh, it should have been a dive kick. Probably got a punish counter, at least if anything. At least a hit off that dive kick, and now Joe taking advantage. Mistakes. We're out of there. Yeah, you know, that's uh, that's gonna happen sometimes. <laughs> Tries to go for the fireball, unfortunately catches it straight to the dome. Still alive though. Back to the <gasps> block, he did. Yeah, the parry was out. He was ready. And Knuckle Do, easy finish for him to get that win. Joe wasting that first bar. Has one more to take him. Brother, what? Huh? I don't know what that was, dude. Errors are bad against this kind of character, though. Luke can definitely double the damage. Look at that. You're only in the corner. That's where you want to be. Recovery, so dangerous. 
we're getting away with it though. It's the jab, finds the counter hit. Side switch. That was risky! I feel like you couldn't bend your life on that. So I'm willing to anti just yet. We'll see what he does. He's trying to go for a button, it glimpses, it hits. Level three. Close that victory. Do still in burnout, but this is bad. Joe, getting close to burnout for his side of things. Would his wake up option be? Would be a super? Would he just wait for a little bit? Just for the drive in back to try to clip a dive kick. But it doesn't hit. The back throw. Uh -oh. uh, chips, absolutely. Yes, puts the shoulder down and she just can't handle it. The burnout is too much. Joe, at the cost of three bars, is going to get out of that round. Well calculated. Stand fierce fireball in, and then you see like the super right after. Made sure that help was down just enough for that super to take that round. Walk up throw though. Dude, unfettered. Does not care at all. Look at the combo. So Joe, the walk up back throw. I was gonna say, maybe you should start carrying here, but with the side swap like that, maybe not. Dude looking good here, looks for the jab, but there's the ODDP. Then Miru can get burn out his Joe. Dive kick hits the charge up. Flash knocker fierce, and this is dead, yeah. Yeah, that's Knuckle Dude. That flash knuckle, you try to see him rear back and back with the die kick immediately. Knuckle Dude taking the skies continuously, and that's been a problem for loot players for a while. Like, I've been seeing Angry Bird talk about that. Other loot players are like, man, when I fight Cammy, I'm so worried about sitting on a fireball or a button because of that die kick, the way it hits. And trying to challenge it, you know, it can be risky. You can hit it outside the sky sometimes, like stand medium, crouch fierce if you're lucky. But if you're not, that just gets her motion going for the Oki. Continues. With punish. Okay, the DP afterwards. And so finding the throw. Fighting back into this slowly but surely. Evens up the drive gauge with a standing medium punch and is able to find the punish counter there, but unfortunately whiffing out the normals not working out there against Kami. At least not at that spacing. Dude is just so comfortable with it. Okay, charge. Heavy knuckle comes through. Perfect carry though. In the gap, stand fierce. Attack on drive gauge. The drive impact. for all spiral arrow. Has him caught from the corner. Backs up for the anti. He's got the level one to fight back if need be. In the gap, the walk-up throw. Dude can take his time. Stand fierce. Fist to face to put him in that corner space. We'll do a yeah. couple game in a round. Counter hit something too. That was definitely not trying to play that passively. Looks for the crouching medium punch. It goes for the very aggressive dash up, but unfortunately the frame did a not in his favor on that one. He didn't take the advantage, gets the jab, and all of this momentum off that one bad dash from Joe. Heavy kick, he's gonna go for the drop gauge. Stan Pierce finds a mark though. Go off the backboard. Chaser for the Oki. Neutral jump calls out the dive kick. Gets a side switch as well. Joe, better off. Damn, swinging that same heavy kick. Overhead, you're dead. CA, I'm about to see that DNA. Second time we've seen this from Joe, though, spends the meter and is able to get out of the round, but unfortunately puts himself in a spot where it's even on rounds. And this time, Joe was able to overcome with even meter last time. This time already has a level three built up. Yeah, that's a dangerous proposition right there. You know, Cammy's can use bar level one or two or whatever to equalize things or finish it out, but the damage isn't there. Level three and how she leads it to level three, usually how she gets the victory. But yo, with this allowing anything from even happening, right, uh, air knuckle, trying to go for the throw, ODDP, knuckle who bets it. Let's put him outside that corner. And again, a little burnout, has been bad, punish. Of impact. Let's look at that. Thing's definitely in trouble here. Looks like crushing light punch. Goes for the jump over it and is able to get the empty jump again. Dude, it's gonna spend the meter. This is gonna make it two to zero now. Joe is in so much trouble. We've had so many rounds go exactly this way. We say the pressure continuously. Knuckled the that victory and move on to fight another classic, another Luke. Let's see what happens though, Joe. Trying to prophesize my man's demise, but it is definitely looking difficult. Like round three is where everything just goes downward. Nothing who has the bar to utilize. Joe gets side switching, he puts himself in burnout when he shouldn't. And it's easy to say that, but then you have nothing to do things like this. Punish counter. He's harassing the stand heavy kick. He's aiming for the drive gauge as well. It's been hard here for Joe. 
Uh-oh. Not the way you want to see it start twice in a row. The huge footsie wins for Dew. He's just so comfortable and so confident in these mid-range spots where it feels like Luke normally just bullies so many characters. That variance with a dive kick, man. You want to get the crouching medium punch and crouching medium kick to land. But she has that entry point. You want to get your fireball too as well. But here we go, crouching medium punch, counter hit, right knuckle, chaser. It's time to crouch the medium punch instead of a neutral jump. Dude just simply walks back, gets a crouching medium kick, drive rush, side switch. Looking devious. Back throw. Go. Come on, man. I want to see it. Absolutely. Oh. That's a great way to start. Spend it. Yeah, oh. kill this character. But we've seen this movie so many times Third. on the channel. Listen, I, I feel like that's a trend in film right now. Everything's a trilogy. Mm -hmm. And here we are. We got the third movie. I never liked the third movie. I don't think Joe does either. How many times has the third movie been good, though? Listen, man, I'm a believer. I believe in the change. We can make it happen. Standing medium kick, not going to get there. Establishment tool. It's a sweep off the feet like that for the hard knockdown dash up throw right after. Reversal jab goes for the throw. Looks like it was the back throw. Back kick again. Yeah, when Knuckle Dude is feeling himself, you can see more of the dodges come through, but it's fist to face that stand. Here's the drop though from Joe. That's so rare, and this is so bad. Level three. Not gonna kill, but it will put Joe in a bad sort of way. One sequence from play here from Knuckle Dude. That bar get juiced up. Tried to walk up with the throw, it looked like there. Tries to shimmy a little too hard. Easy answer there from Joe. Target combo is not gonna work out. Dude, very easily able to close that one out. Three games straight. There's no excuse for character inexperience, except for maybe Lily. Because I feel like there's not a lot of people who play the character at the highest level, so it's probably pretty decently difficult to get reps against it uh, at like a consistent level to like actually really practice, you know? Once again, if you're in Japan, you're going to get it with, like, Habiki the Beast. But of course. <laughs> in terms of anywhere else, you know, you get problems and plays from time to time. But, like, a person that mains the character, it's it's very rare, right? You know, so, like, again, her matchup spread is, is kind of wily. I think she does well against certain characters. Some people think she actually takes down Chun-Li, and I think I can see that. Because there's the fireball pressure very well. Out buttons the character in some ranges. But against Ken, not so much. Gotta be careful in this matchup. It's a good jump out, though. It's the poke. Has to end up blocking, but it does go for the backdash. I like that. Just goes for the charge. Doesn't go for the swing afterwards there. Nice little fake out. Makes him tap the parry. And the throw. Bottle right after some heavy kick. Don't know what that was, but that mistake. We'll get him a jab and a dab of damage right there with the throw right after. Stops it right in front of his face. Interrupts the fireball right there. Once again, the back throw. Go for a command grab? Yeah, execution error, I do believe there. Not gonna matter too much here, though. Is gonna be able to spend that meter and secure that kill. I Peru. Dude, in a grind of a first match, he's going to be able to take the first round. Stock up. That's the problem. My reversal. I'm surprised that is punishable. So I'm surprised that uh, Enzo went for the drive reversal. Maybe again, that's matchup knowledge that he's lacking. Yeah, I mean, when there's wind stocks, I definitely respect the idea to be able to go for that. But yeah, no wind stocks. Uh, depending on spacing, uh, just let her rock. Might as well just jab her afterwards. Take a turn. For sure. Genrai, heavy, fireball. Yeah, lock him down. Plus race situation. Good Genrai, cancel. Into the throw. Didn't go for any commitment. Went for the throw right after. Caught the pimp to parry. No anti that had to have been a DP. Punish counter came from I Peru. Ooh, poking from good distance to 2CA for Enzo. Cancel. <laughs> oh, the shimmy, the finesse and bless. Yo, put this man to rest. DP not gonna spin that bar, wants to save it. Would be the right decision. I has got more bar than you. He's got more drive gates than you. Super potentially gonna chip depending on how this goes. Gotta be careful with two wind stocks. The jump scare potential, but just those the fireball is so brave. Could have been OD yeah. sphere, right? Like that could have yeah. been something that could have happened. Tried to jump it either way. Four fears. Wild horn. Oh, crouching the kick caught him standing. Side switch, Dragon Lash, DP, Ender. Go to mm. the corner. Coming 
blocks in the road. Dragon Lash is dealt with. Tries to go for the throw, though. A huge punish. And I love this, especially because it's your, your way to be able to secure the burnout. Definitely the right decision here. Ends up with a great game planning. Damn fears. Oh, goes for the super in the gap. Back dash stays out of danger. Avoids a danger zone. Avoids a super. And avoids any potential comeback. Damn. Damn, 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 that was good. DP after the gen, right? I like that. Back dash the pressure. Still caught for the corner. Glad you catch him against the throw tech with one of those gen, or sorry, the dragon lashes, but it didn't work out. Okay, blocking the overhead. Yep, and in that spot because of the wind stock, definitely the right call. Why not see Crouch Fierce? That's like one of the best anti-airs. That's just like the hardest part of this. It just doesn't feel like Lily gets a lot in these situations. It feels like Ifru has gotten a lot of really good punish counter pokes, but unfortunately, just because of the normals, the, the range, the normals that are good for whiff punishing like that, Lily just doesn't get a lot of reward for it. She doesn't, and she really has to like think about, am I gonna go for like stocks or am yeah. I gonna go for like Oki, right? The switch up is what makes the character not so good. And again, I don't think these spacings are that good for the, uh, the windswire right there because I feel like they're getting a little bit too close where Enzo could at least take back the turn. I don't think they're spaced out enough where it's you at least get plus range or something like that. I have reversal, baits it out, finds a punish. Again, get some matchup knowledge. Level three coming through. Okay, one wind sock. Yeah, now's a good time to reverse. Right, but as soon as you're in burnout there, standing medium a couple times in a row, Ivaru does manage to find it here. Enzo. Still looking good though. Still in the lead. Three bars built up. Chat asking if she can't get anything better off that minus eight. Her punish game is not that good. Just like overall. I don't know if she can get anything better, but punish game is not that good. Right now, Enzo looking great. Killing that drive gauge that level three. Close to burnout. Try for Stamp Fierce. The fireball. Anything he would like to dab? Yeah. Try for Stamp Fierce. Actually gets the hit. Trade. Jab. Oh my god. Parasma continues and finally finds the stun. The jump comes through. And that is going to be Enzo locking down another game. I Peru putting up a good fight in certain spots. But again, it just feels like the mileage per hit is so unbelievably skewed in Enzo's favor, as well as just Ken's favor. Perfect carry. Does he get the corner carry? He sets the pressure with the gin rise. Ford, fierce to get the wild horn. Getting in, stocking up. I crew. Getting the low, crouching medium kick. Honestly, if I'm I crew, I'm playing against them. The way that this one don't really know how to deal with like the condo spires continuously. The command grab, grip of damage. Up, tech, does not connect. If your IPU can drive the impact right back, or just a jab, a dab would be round two. Yeah, just that easy. Not that tough away though. Finds the jab, doesn't get much for him. Cancels early. Gotta go for the fire, but a nice block on the empty low. Yes, Tatsu. No dashes up. Jab, no commitment. Oh, yeah, you can't swing that out, but I mean, her punish game, we haven't seen too much. We need, like, Crouching Fierce for, like, the starter for a lot of the punish games. Yeah, it just feels like a lot of the problem is just that, like, wind stocks are, like, your tool in and also your tool for damage. So it's just like, oh, but in situations like that, you get pretty easily close for Aya Peru. But yeah, like, having to spend wind stocks to be able to get your chance to be able to find this damage while simultaneously needing them to do the real can full, full confirm. It's, it's a lot of balancing, man. It is a lot. I mean, she does, in reverse of all that, though, like, she can definitely loop you continuously when she does have the stock supplied. That's what becomes a lot more dangerous, a lot more of, like, oh, damn, this character actually can work. That same linear game plan is, like, both good and bad for that reason. So we'll see if Ibru can even get any win stocks off. Perfect parry, back throw, has the space in this place. Dash up for the command grab. Win to go for those stocks up or for the Oki. You have to, that's like an innate thing that you have to learn as a Lily player. Makes up the Perry. Nice on the DP. Oh, 
caught up with a jump light kick. Harassing that drive gauge right now in burnout. This is looking bad. Trade to get the command grab. Had to go for something. I do like that sand light kick trade. Ooh. Oh my god, the DP from a crazy range. Everything snowballs off of Enzo getting that one good anti-air. And once again, we're on set point. Loser side action too. Almost going home. Take a long walk around the house. Take a lap. Crouch for his try brush. Gets the pickup with the wild horn. Stocks up again. I prove. Spang it again. It's probably that stand light kick. A little stubby. A little stubby than you might think. I don't know if it's like super stubby, but definitely not reaching the way that I prove would like to. Punish counter crouch here, stocks up again. Nice call on the crouch, medium kick. He's in again. Oh, trying to take a big step forward, but it's very difficult against Ken. Trade comes through once again. Enzo in CA range, nice DP. Next hit might be able to kill depending on how it goes. And with that throw, definitely gonna kill if we get one clean full confirm. Crouching fears. Finds its mark again as the plus button for this character. That is the main character button for this character. The anti airs. It with punishes. It leads into drive rush stock up Stu as well. I proved using that to better effect and calling out some of these buttons too as well. The trade. Oh my god. Smoking himself outside the corner. Okay. Yeah, but we set the pressure up for that stand medium punch with punish, right? Cross series. This is close with the step kick. Tries to go for the jump in. Nice answer. This is doable for Enzo. Plus Rain. The throw. We get to that point. We can throw the shimmy. Run DP. CA. We'll see a ton of damage. And more importantly, I brew. Close to burnout. Actually, in burnout, he looking ashy. Damn, you're dead. A fireball. OD will seal the deal. A medium no vegan option right there. Easy victory. It's the Luke. It's the Luke. He's going Luke Lear, people. Luke Lear? That's good. <laughs> oh, my God. You see the, the alarms going off, bro? It's about to get nasty. We'll see, though. I mean, you know, Luke's one of those characters that's very strong, and I think that Zaffarino can play this character. I just don't know how much time he's had. When you're facing off somebody who's played this character for months upon months, has developed a game plan, but you gotta put your paces, you know, these top spots to iron them out. I agree, but unfortunately there with the step back, Herrera's not looking too worried about it here. DP almost takes the kill, but in burnout, Chip is a factor, jumps up and gets the air to air. Zafarino goes for the super high reward on the jump over, but it's pretty easily answered. Herrera's looking super in control right now. I'm impressed. I think this is my first time watching a full tournament run from Ferreras. I like what I see, dude. I think it's the second time they've been in top eight. Other times they got like close to top eight, but definitely one of the most aggressive scamming games in the business. When they play, they get real nasty. Hits them with the level three immediately once they put them in burnout. Put them on the back foot. It, again, that strike throw pressure that Cammy had is even more deadly. You only have what, level one to your name. He's following arrow for the push back up to the corner of the area right there. Where are you going? It's still no bail. You can't leave. The dive kick hits the crouching light kick. Damn. Just like that. We're going to go straight back in with the Luke. Okay. I was excited to see the Jamie. I'm not going to lie. It felt like it was doing pretty okay last time we saw it. Maybe it's one of those things where it's like he wants to run out this character as far as he can yeah. and get him to like the right point. But that is a bad mistake. The fireball, probably what that was supposed to be. Just get the back throw. Okay. Damn, he doesn't work out in the end. It's just button after button. Not even counter hit. Just all connecting. Finally, in the end, the counter hit with the crouching light kick. Crouching immune kick into fireball safe. Option jump fears. Gets the crouching immune kick. Start off the drive rush. Rubber stand fears. Heavy knuckle ender. Chasing for the Oki. Oh, he was in, but he didn't get the conversion. Happy accident. Didn't have the follow-up though because he had no bar. Uh -oh. Don't let it be. Woke up with a jab. Gets counter hit by crouching fierce. There is is there a more painful button to take straight to the grill in a situation like that, bro? Jesus Christ. That crouch fierce, all for them guts. It is Valentine's Day. Ferreris. Hold up. Get nasty with that meeting. Huh? What? Anyway. Up a game in the round so far. Light, Uncle Heavy, level three is out for spending a lot of bar to get his back. 
Let me get out before I get the Capcom Cup, all right? I can't say it there. Let me say it here. Hey, it's okay. No, this is a no judgment zone, okay? <laughs> nice parry. Burn yourself out. DP. Easy hands here. No bird watching. Counter hit jab. Lose the corner for Aris. Definitely not looking so good right now. Zafarino can definitely play the same game. Don't have to overextend to get the win right now. Play patient. Only jump throw. I was not expecting the up four and for is clearly not either. Okay, we'll start seeing more of like the perfect pairs against these fireballs. He rules can set drive gauge for that drive rush. It's a dive kick right after it. Send heavy kick. We're asking the drive gauge. Crosscut <gasps> super. It don't work. He landed in time to stay fine. Luckily, it's only one bar though, so there's still opportunity as we go for the ODTP. Break out of everything, finds the dive kick, pressure in the corner, gonna build up to level three. Is this enough? No. Did he jabs? Ferraris, now I'm gonna hit him with that super to seal the deal. Locked in to get the win, Ferraris. It's Ferrari right now, speeding the victory. Up mm. two games already. If you're Zap, I like that you have, you know, put your loop through the paces. But it's time to switch. Nah, Never son. Mind. Still in die. there. Gonna try and make it work. Sandblast immediately gets punished. Full screen. Distance closed, but Zapparino ODDP out of there. Try to figure these out with this character as much as possible. All right, I respect it. I respect it. Okay, caught the preemptive parry with the back throw. Punish counter. Another one. Browers close to burnout. Oh, come into a button. Quick, get the DP off. Hmm. I was gonna say, trying not to be over the middle in this spot does close the distance here. Crouching Fierce again, that same situation that we saw before. Match point potentially here. Can we gonna try and run the three straight once again? Double Jeopardy. Could it be even with a different character? The perfect parry is there. It's the entire choice. The throw. Welcome throw again. It's aggression. The confidence here from ours. Okay, the dash up, triple jab, light knuckle, bump that throw, I can jump back here, switches it up, gets the punish counter. Oh, kept the smile arrow. Doesn't get the meaty. Mm. A little the back, oh, of course, perfect spacing, just like I was about to say, was able to shimmy just a little bit at a time. Oh my god, masterful spacing, masterful footsies, and the results are clear. Ferreras, three games straight. What a run, dude. It's not done. It's not even over. And you sit on the mic for hours again. I'm about to play. I'm about to play six hours of Helldivers after this. Don't play with me. I'm about to deliver freedom to the bugs, Cola. <laughs> Real American style. I get it. <laughs> Enzo versus Shine here at the loser side. Shine with the Kimberly, you know, and again, not expecting this matchup. I think Chun-Li would have been absolutely okay. I've talked to a few Kim players over in Japan, and even over here, they don't like the matchup at all. But Shine, again, going what's comfortable for him, and uh, we'll see if it works out. Oh. Impact right back, he's a young man at the very last frame. Are you insane? This kid is ready. Mm. The throw. You, oh my God. Dude, what? how old is this kid? <laughs> oh my God. Like, Jesus, hasn't even been born yet. He sees the future, he hasn't even been born yet. He's a game. But Shine, putting this kid to bed. First W to him. First round of the aggression. Perfect pairing right back. It's a blue kind of day. Shine does love his perfect parries. And you're going to need those against this kind of character. Teleport, no reaction from Enzo. Yeah, the parry was definitely okay to nullify some of that advantage. But unfortunately, here for Enzo, the Shine trade continues to roll. The level three comes through, got the buff fully secured. Look at the drive gauge now, evened it up from a huge lead, and I'm what? gonna call that. I'm gonna call that a bait. Uh, plus on whip, gets the overhead. It's the. Hit. It's like Street Fighter Five never left us, baby. Let's go. Sin heavy kick plus rave. Drive rush crouching medium kick with a lot of plus frames. Every so often, stack of steps. All the hits connect. Perfect KO. Tries to look at Golden and Enzo. He's falling up in the corner. Mm. Okay. Knock down corner carry all the way to the wall. ODDP does just barely reach. He grabs him by the foot. <laughs> he goes up for the first swing of the DP. Get down here. 
both go for the parry. Enzo with a walk up throw. Shine, now want to gauge to get. Counter hit, maybe trying to press a button to stop himself from being burned out. He wakes up with the super. Luckily caught the recovery of the Jinrai. Usually that super, way too slow to do anything. jump angles. We see this a lot from Shine. He'll invest a lot of time into doing this just to have the opponent kind of uh, be wary about it for the rest of the set when he goes for these jumps now. That medium kick gets the over knockdown. Shine working up in the corner. Stand, fierce run, cancel. No interruption here from Enzo. No reaction just yet. Toe tap. Ooh, look, it was a perfect parry and punished. The oh, beta yeah. kid! <laughs> How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, young man? Oh my god, and is able to get the block after the can. Nice on Shine once again. Don't scare the round. Potentially secure the game here. One bar already built up, finds a knockdown. Level three is available for Enzo, but don't want to spend it this early if you can. Alright, Enzo, come on. How many children of the corner to fight back? Mm. Knockdown, slide apply the Tatsu. Overhead again this time, Enzo blocks it out. Oh god, these overheads. He's going for them to find these openings on level three once again. Never a bad time to boost up the song. Okay, after the trade, keep the green stuff going. Nice tag. CA available, Enzo not out of this yet. That's a long road ahead though. Paint the parries, run camp, hit the parry, decide to shine, throw, you get him in burnout. He's looking to do so. Shine does it on his own terms. He gets Ashley on his own terms. Oh man. Shine carefully. He should have got the jerk, it's my boy. Up in the corner, but the super is a reaction against the drive impact. Shine stays solid. Dude, stay solid indeed. Blocked a, a, a ton of jabs, a ton of staggers in the entirety of that pressure. He was like, I'm taking the throw. I don't get you are not. I, this is not happening. Mm -hmm. Keep right, your right, hands bro. to yourself, bro. Yeah. That's my chain. You can't afford it. Stand medium kick. Yo Lounge can't afford it, my guy. Tatsu. Frame kill for the crouching medium kick. I love it. Shot getting a follow up. High enough. You have to get that candle in. Perfect parry. You gotta worry about the explosion. Distance closed, finds a throw. Pressure is still applied. Looks for the flip, it's not quite close enough. Gets the Jinrai and does use the drive rush to actually get out of the corner of the back though from Ken, the master special. Drive rush, cross get DP. It's already. Double dashes up. Oh, he went for the throw instead. Yeah, and Shine actually got the tech off. Woo! Drive rush stand fierce in hands, Tatsu. Oki! No bite though from Shine. So nervous. Drive rush goes for the crouching medium twice in a row. He's able to block everything. Goes for the drive impact. Not close up to the wall. Sure, you can against the elbow <gasps> drop. Elbow drop again. The DP works out. That angle is so sharp. It's so perfect to delete and defeat that elbow drop continuously. Yeah, there are ranges where it can be baited, but Enzo now staying at the right range to get that anti air off. Stay on set point. The teleport in against the fireball. Level three. You know what's about to be. They're playing my tune. Right. A scary one here for Enzo. Get him up his back. Pressure's on. There's the throw. A couple more interactions to go. Staying solid so far, though. Oh, bite. I like that from Enzo. Run, DP. Level three immediately. Let's get that bar back. Those expensive spins that you want to spin down. You'd like to do it a little bit later, but you do it now to get your bar back. So it's not that bad of an idea. Drive rush, the light punch, the tech on the throw. Perfect carry from the side of Shine against the fireballs. Falls to one. I had the right idea, but unfortunately it was way too far. Here we go, just gonna go find that knockdown. After the perfect carry, not gonna be able to do very much damage. ODDP. Speed enhancement is so hard to deal with, but the ODDP, the bust out, is to put himself in burnout. He believes, he believes, yo, I believe too, and so give us more games. Gives more games a slide from downtown. Shine says no more games. It's bedtime, homie. Trying to close this out. One bar, almost two on the side of Shine. Staying on that meter lead, definitely. 
somewhat of an advance here. We find that that thing it just has not been blocked yet. The jump scare is incredible. Russell jab, back dash straight from the throw. Driver gets an opening to slide once again. Frame kill, the tech though from Enzo. That might be information here from Shine. So it's a walk up throw. Enzo takes this one. He's hit the stand heavy kick. It's almost done. Another level three is what it's about to be. Off the Vagabond. And this kid might be put to bed. Shine takes him out of the tournament, the Star Viper. But I gotta get credit to Enzo. Top eight spot. Took down a lot of kills. So Filler up to this point. He actually made it through our mid best Capcom Cup after winning his World Warrior one and then got second there only to another Canadian player save. So uh, you can say he's pretty solid at the game. He's, he's pretty good. Okay, is it with the tech though? Buy yourself some room. Standing fierce, doesn't get much. Rush throw. Extra fireball. Backs up the anti air. Get ready with it. Get coming for free. I have to put more variants on it. Way too far with Crouch Pierce, but still is able to find the throw. Another good situation. Easy Crouch Pierce again. What an option. One of the better ones, too, as well. Throw. Looking for the opening. Joe's still good in defense. He's only holding throws, which he'd rather hold over Crouch and even kick into conversion into the flower arrow. All from the corner. Oh, but you're the corner corner right now. It's a super. Flowers with a fat lead. Charge up lands. Back to the screen. Okay. <laughs> Ends up fighting the overhead afterwards. I looked a little messy there. As soon as I see Hooligan, Hooligan puts me on my heels every time, bro. Yeah. Playing and watching. <laughs> and you know something dashing is coming through as soon as they left that Hooligan rip. Drive rush tech though. Ah, was he trying to catch him lacking? Go box it out. Side switch too as well. Calls out the throw, the TK dive kick. Fantastic from Raris. They're almost out of bar, but they definitely have the lead in health. Okay. Double jab, counter hits the rope, standing heavy kick. Drive rushes forward, and the little step back builds just enough room, builds just enough suspense for Joe to feel like he needs to reach out, try and figure something out. No mysteries to solve, buddy. Mm -hmm. What well, Scooby do for you? Joe Umi Rogan, trying to get through against Rose here. Hook that bar at the bottom. Level three on both sides, crouching in the kick lands. I was actually just gonna spin that bar right now, okay. Get about one fourth. Not bad, not bad. Drop gauge, gonna get juiced up. Take a little bit from Joe. But Joe, got a lot to work with right now on his own side of things. Right knuckle heavy, level three from his side. I get the lead to go and blow for blow, ban for ban. But Joe had more in the savings. That is just secured at that point. Loot damage, no joke. Not enough to kill though. And the back throw, potential incident to come here. Has the meter, gets the stun. Not gonna kill, but this is huge. Check the bar at the bottom though. Joe's about to get bar back. Actually, <gasps> no, Frost drops. I wonder if he was dropping to not let him get that bar back intentionally. But either way, it's still in play. The air to air is right there, Joe, with the jump jab. But I, I, I wonder if he went for that or if he actually like let it go because he's like, I don't want you to level one. So you have a lead. Maybe I'll reset like a drive impact or something. Maybe. But either way, Joe gets the game point right here. He gets a point on the board. A little bit. Fireball looking for the dive kick, trying to go for some low crush type options here. But Joe not biting, finds a throw. I think too far out. Yeah, the fake outs now, but no real conversion. He had the drive gauge to really commit to something more. Four fierce Halamidi fireball. Follow up to Obi Rogan and burn up. Definitely not out of options. That level one super quick. Could use it as an anti approach or a punish or it gets drive impact. There we go. Hey, there you go. Full follow through. Has level two, but it's not going to spend anything here. Just finds a throw instead. Confidence is key as we maintain our two and a half bars going into the next round here, trying to even this up. Okay. 
Luke's gonna start a joke as well. Let's see if he has some variants with that bar. A lot of utility you can use with Luke. Level one, big anti as I mentioned, quick. Level two for some corner carry and damage. Level three, obviously, you see that. Taking people to Memphis. No back throw. Lots of attack, lots of on his counter. I don't know if he's going for like knockdowns with those power arrows. Like try to catch Joe, try to move forward. Does call out the throw, the TK dive kick. OD, BD crouch, fierce. All up in them guts again. The side switch, Joe. Mashing jab, he's seen that too often, too many times. So e surprised. So surprised that I see Ferris spend the meter in that spot. Could have maybe gone for the level three on that confirm. The jump over instead, very close. Oh, no. if they get in with like a like a spin knuckle conversion should be over but the chip still gets the hit you saw him trying to go for like a trade possibly to put himself back in business but too much damage on the table joe now round up i was so scared i was scared for joe going for that heavy knuckle that was terrifying against level three cammy cammy is one of the best whip punish supers he's quick you're right that could have been an option you're right oh Oh, find the jab. Very nice. We're just going to cash out the meter. I love this. Burnout Joe. Definitely the right decision. Maybe if it's pro rated, like they're scaling on it. Like it's still a good decision to put them in burnout, put them on the back foot. Joe so doesn't have level one just yet. He does now, but it's only one you have to consider. And you have to consider the fact that Ferris is too consistent at being nasty and consistent at putting on the pressure. I like that. The walk up, crouch, fucking dry rush to seal the deal. Raris now even things out with Joe. Game to game. Okay, good follow up here. All the way to the wall, finds a throw, strike throw, it begins. What a whiff punish there. Didn't even have to go for the step back there. Joe was looking for something that never even had to occur. Backing off, looking for these buttons again. Joe lost quite a bit of health up in this corner. Yeah, dive kick, trying to bait out a crouch for at this range. Finds a confirm crouching medium punch, drive rush up. Oh, he tried to press a button, but ODDP saves him for a little bit longer. The back throw, maybe fireball, actually gets a hit. The whole, I'm just so afraid of that recovery ball that Stan Fears finds a punish though. What are these spiral arrows? I gotta ask Raros later. Like, man, you going for some risky options. The way Arlero again, that time maybe just looking for that that spacing, but just doesn't work out. Nobody home. What again? Is the controller broken? <laughs> oh I really think he's looking for for Joe like walk for it and get clipped and get hit, but maybe catch a button preemptively. But it's not working out. Joe's caught on, but. Tekken hasn't caught on to that. Again, Joe caught Tekken. Lacking, let's get cracking. Let me get all your gauge. Mm. Give me that. There's the stun. No meter available. See how far we built it here. Back up, DP. Entire with the crouch fears. Drive reversal, official style stamp for the corner while anti again trying to take back the turn with the ODDP Ferraris. Betting a little bit too much. I don't know why they just hold back for just a little bit. They thought that Joe was going to go for this pressure, but these calls are not working out. Wow, crouching fierce. <laughs> Putting in overtime in like the last four or five interactions here. Fire Arrow does work out this time, but unfortunately, just loses the turn for it. Joe gets clean touch because of it. This one works out for the ODP side switch. Crouch fears, but Ferraris acting like that didn't even happen. Acting like that, all the health in the world. Meeting Crouch fears again to find the follow up. Joe simply blocking it out, there finds a whip punish. Red, that's a strange distance. We haven't even seen Ferraris try to calculate it in terms of, I'll get it on block to, you know, wind down your drive gauge or, or, or try to get you on punish counter. Very strange to see him whip that button. Oi, dude, this is what I like to see from Joe. In the first, in the game where he lost to Ferreras, it was a lot of him initiating, a lot of standing heavy punch whipping, a lot of crouching medium punch whipping. We are counter punching now, and look at the complete difference that we're seeing. And not only in just the amount of hits we're getting, but in how safe he's able to play. I feel like this is Joe's comfort zone, and we're seeing peak Joe Umi Rogan with this counter punching. Generational combat from this guy right now. The generational miracle. Ferreras, no bar to their name, had to wake up with a super. Joe wasn't looking for it, but still, is it one of those inevitable things? You only have almost two bars to your name. You have to play absolute picture perfect. Did not get the drive impact. Gets the punch counter off the crouching medium oh. punch. Bates off the old DDP. He's getting ahead of himself. Drive impact again. Okay, Ferraris grounding it back. Charging for some extra damage. DP 
Mikey. Yeah, no part necessary. All right. My bad. I know your game like that, Mikey. Okay, I like the dive kick more than I like the spiral arrow. <laughs> if we're going to do something, yeah, yeah. we're going to be diving somewhere. I'd rather it be down than forward. Yeah, exactly. Especially that's something that's so punishable. So obviously punishable. Now, based off that crouch fierce, Joe might have to go for a DP or just like go for a parry. Simply block it out. It's been leading to this right now. Ferraris with the lead in health. Hasn't caught up on the corner. Gage going to get it back. About greenish. Almost there at least. Wow, what a jump in. Ends up finding the lights. Just the cross up there. Punish counter on the throw. Carry the gap. Find our way out. Foul arrow for the Oki. He holds the throw. Can't take too much more, though. Still alive, but this is tough. Rare drop from Joe. Oh, he chipped out did depending on. He sends up the spell arrow. He's like, bro, I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep doing it. Because if I win, it's going to be genius. Oh, my God. Into the final game, gets the trade. Big trade for Joe is standing fierce as the starter. Look at the life bar just crumble. Has to solidify himself. Come into that stand medium kick. The dive kick hits. <gasps> stand fierce shimmy. Crouching medium punch right back. Is there a bundle here from Joe? What an answer. So far back. Yoki. Only DP though. Oh, needs to be careful with that whiff, but still things turn out correct in the end. Joe threatening to set now loser's side. Ferreira's two in a row. This would be a Herculean task to be able to make this work. Too big. Starbush Crouch Fierce actually is able to open up Joe. Crouch Fierce again, one of the best movie situations. You get so much much, so much off of it, so much range on that movie Crouch Fierce. Crouch got DP from Ferraris. They're put up in the corner. But Joe is the one with no bar. He tries to go for the ODDP. Side switch Ferraris. Oh my god! And going in the bag with the EX cross up, dude. Deep in the pockets in the final round. Doing every option at Joe. Maybe so those like maybe those power arrows are just to be like, I'm gonna show you something different, bro. Don't put maybe. so much mental stack on you that we're gonna cut through. Dip <gasps> punish oh. on the recovery. Uh -oh. Dude, spend it, yeah, absolutely. If only just to get your own drive gauge back, so you have more opportunity for offense. I really like this choice. Look at the health that they don't have, Joe caught up in the corner. Takes the OD. Luckily, it wasn't punish counter. There's no ascension. Any crouch fears. Let's hope this is not for ours. A minute they're gonna spin theirs. Now it won't equalize things, but at least they have a full stick of butter to work with in terms of drive gauge up there. What's that? Walk up, send heavy kick. Oh, crap, first light. Oh no. The throw pressure, strike throw from Scammy Cammy. Burns up some burnout. This could be everything. Does get the connection here. No meter for either player. Now Odie dive kick gets the point. Okay, is able to get the tech. Both in burnout. Oh, the charge up. Crouching Mini put charge up again. One more hit. Mini Fireball will be the win. He's back with bar. Cross cut. Medium OD Fireball to make a ball. Joe Ume Rogan. And Jamie pulled that up. Three this time. Uh, three game win streak? Okay, dude. Oh, what was he doing? <laughs> well, relax. Well, let's All right, let's see it though. Like I said, getting at the start winners at finals. Immediately with the jump in, but that's the punish counter with the throw. And look at the drive gauge difference already. I feel like that's one of the standout things about Noah's games is Noah's drive gauge is generally below half and it's usually self-inflicted. He's just very aggressive with how he spends it. And for good reason, his offense is really well structured. He's just wants to take it to the corner. Harassi there, he's got the bar at the bottom to back himself up to as well. Perfect parry, he's ready to drive impact. Attack on drive gauge, calls out the throw though. TK dive kick in play. Beauty Crouch fears. Noah. One of the problems that he's gotta watch out for is like holding parry too often. Counter hit the trip right after though. Back throw. Close some distance, but trades, you just can't afford these trades at this point. Gets a standing fierce, and you just die for it. Do. I felt like there was a lot of slugging going on in that match, like a very back and forth kind of brawly style. And do somehow managed to conserve a lot of his life total because of it, but miss times the anti-air. And that is going to cost you a, uh, you know, a little toll. It's a third of your life. Quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite a bit. It's just oh a third. Oh my god, reaching in both the pockets right now is prodigy. Brother, how do you afford this? I can't pay this! How, how can I pay this? I'll be in debt! 
You know, just two and a half touches. No big deal. It'd just be like that. Yeah, you know, Cammy, the quick answer responds. Gets a fourth of life off the table right away. Perfect parry, punish. Wow, I'm surprised to go for that level three. That's heavily scaled. So maybe it's attack on drive gauge, but one of those things where, yeah, you did that, but look at how much damage you did to take off. Oh, the perfect parry wake up. It's a blue kind of day. It's time to switch play for the Sun and Knuckle Dude. Neutral jump calling it the dive kick. Such a smart neutral jump there. Let's close that distance. Wakes up with the dive kick. Noah content to block. Goes in the burnout though. And just barely sneaks to the opposite side. What a crazy mix from Knuckle Dude. Off the fireball. Ooh. Dry brush get hit. No! He blocked. Hands are up like a pack of Legos. Blocks it out. Finds a punish. He actually breaked in time to stay fine. He saw the stop sign. He said, let me hold up. I see a cop over there. I mean, uh. No one's old enough to drive, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He should be old enough to drive. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a pack yeah. of Legos, huh? I think that's a I punk one right I there. I respect that. That might be a punk one right there. Uh. <laughs> oh, my God. We're going to get the switch up, though. Time for me to pull my notepad out. It's time to chuck some booms is what it looks like here. Yeah, absolutely. It's time for the guile. This is the main event for your boy. Mm-hmm. This is the character that obviously do has been known war for a very long time. The Cami, I mean, has been playing Cami uh, just about the uh, the same amount of time as Guile at this point. But I feel like the, uh, you know, that's it's still the uh, the thing we think about when we think of do. We think of the booms. We think of the glasses. We think of the disrespectful type of play this guy brings to the table with Guile, right? Yeah, man. This is like a starter. I feel like points for him, like Street Fighter Four. He has developed other characters to his style. Like obviously the Cami saw the big four five, but. Right now, whew, he's got something to hold. Even in matchups where it's not so good for him, the JP. All right, dude, maybe you slightly lose your character, slightly lose the JP. He's found answers to fight that character. You know, it makes me think of how that match is going. But Jump Pierce, Blast from the Dome, still a problem for a character that has so many anti airs. JP came through again, finds a throw. Yeah, I feel like that's the hard thing about using Crouching Spears for Guile, because uh, with those super monstrous disjointed normals like that, a lot of times Crouching Spears can still trade if you're a little too late on it at the level one. We've been talking about it all night. First time we've seen it as a true reversal there from Noah to blow up the Crouching Medium Kick. And honestly, you have to have that variance with this character. You watch Mono, Bonchan, top level loot players utilize that bar at the bottom for something different. Have that variance. You're gonna build that level three, things go on. You know, you'll be absolutely fine to do so with that damage. But having that variance is what's going to keep other players on the toes. In a fireball to fireball war, a band to band war, you've got that level one to get some pressure on or fight back. Crouching meeting kick, just a tip. A pretty decent decent there, but Noah still gets the hit. Or the entire finally works out for Crouch Fears. Upside down kick, he committed to it. The jump fears. Getting a grip of damage as a starter. Oh, the back dash avoids the grip. Oh, man. That could do with the reason reaction. Let's see the super. Yeah, Kyle the Sonic Steppers. Let me see it. Oh, my God. And the level three to take the kill. So, level three still available for Noah. So, the opportunity to potentially blow this game wide open, depending on this first hit, depending on how things go. Noah with the OD Sandblast closes a ton of distance, but at the cost of half the bar. Not too helpful. Well, again, Noah and Burnout, definitely something that he is okay with doing. It feels like later, like lately, I should say, he is okay with getting his bar back or like having some variance. But as you pointed out previously, he's one to level three after this to build the bar back up. He's got the lead. He's okay with being in Burnout. Of course, he's be charged at that point there. Standing medium kick actually does end up trading. A little unfortunate there. Oh. Pull his bar back up. Jabs back. Drive rush throw. It wasn't punish counter, but now he's in burnout for that meaty fireball. That could have been a bigger punish here from Noah. But he's just fine. It's a meaty fireball once again. He's going to go for that level one to get the win to assure himself that victory. And again, the utility of that bar at the bottom. Utilized very well from the side of Noah. Into the match. <laughs> Listen, bro, just to the YouTube audience, this is one of those tournaments where you should have been here, bro. You should have been yeah. here. Make sure you, you check us out live on Twitch for every Please. single day, man, whether it's Street Fighter or everything in between, bro. Y'all are missing some of the, the most golden content. It's really, really good, but we're back. The combat. <laughs> Not gonna do it.
the Sonic Booms. In that perfect range of the Sonic Booms, the Guile spot, that heavy punch, said heavy kick counter, hits a three piece right after it. It's Jail No Bell right now. Oh, he almost got the wind punch on the, the throw. Okay, and then, surprising, go for the throw there. Boom, ends up stopping the jump, and we just wait and go for the flash kick there. Dude is back, bro. He says one roll back, two back, roll back. I don't care. Down back, baby. Yeah. I, you can hear the button clacking, I bet. I bet he's smashing them. Pressed them so hard. <laughs> they got invitations. <laughs> All right. Corner situation. Back heavy punch by this counter. Need that flash kick right after the charge up. Nothing to do. Get some distance. Some room to breathe. God definitely sounds madder right now. I don't know how to explain it. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Bold italicized, bro. There we go. Good follow up. CA is available here for dude. Tries to wake up for the throw. He's going to get killed for it. That's Noah. On set point, too. He's going to the part of the ball to juice up as well. Oh, boy. Anti of the trade. You will take that because, like, I don't think the position is that bad. Oh, no one's going to go for the OEDP. Put the bra little Lamar action. Put the brakes on him, bro. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Burn out. Too. That's a nightmare. Yeah, In the DP spot, this is your god like right there. A lot of Sonic moves. You're in for burnout. Perfect for me that one in. I like that. Good call. Really good call. <gasps> oh, the super. It doesn't reach. In the punch, the fourth move kick itself up to steal it. All right, it's looking a little different. I like a lot. <laughs> I, if, again, if you're on YouTube, you should have been here. It's a different sort of energy. Hola, you are rolling back. <laughs> it's getting to you too. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> he saw two frames, chat. Help. <laughs> What's going on? Let me see. Let me, let me he see. He saw two frames, chat. <laughs> what is <laughs> Bro, how am I two frames away? What is going on? <laughs> Right back. I'm 63, 62. Are we He's good? Not back, Chad. I'm not back. <laughs> My brain hurts so much. <laughs> oh, it's no. oh, no matter what. Dude, <laughs> take you to victory. The simulation is breaking at an alarming rate. <laughs> oh my god. I'm crying. Okay. Am Here I better? I Am I back? I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no one's Am I good shit? Kill. He killed oh, the perfect the response one round of peace. He's back, Chad. He's back. We're on one rollback. Okay. Back. We're okay. Here. One back to one rollback, baby. That's all you can take. <laughs> two, that's what happens. You hit the two rollback. Two into a robot. Let me warp. Stand heavy. You can get in the level three situation. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Kind of advantage can grind off of this though. Nice perfect parry. Let me get the parry on the OD. Parry again. I like that approach here from Noah. Well, he doesn't have much help to give the jack. Yo, the jump back heavy kick. Everything work out here for Knuckle Dude. I don't know what switched up, what changed up. It's looking clear. Oh, too far? No, it doesn't oh. work out this time. Straight away the CA. Too good, but it's looking too bad right now. I think he's some bars from dangerous. OD Fireball, he's back in business. Oh, Noah's got some drive kitchen utilized. Super like an OD Fireball, he does with a knockdown. Oh, the fate of the drive reversal. Finds a punish. And Noah the Prodigy moves on over Knuckle Doom. <laughs> a Capcom Cup practice that we would like to have. We'll see if it happens. Or Shine will move on. Again, not the most fun matchup for the likes of this character that is Kim. You know, you got the Crouch Fierce and Tyron Gray. Well, we see that being baited out from the side of Shine in reverse as a rebuttal. Double drop. And good for the right distance. Good cap. Yeah, nice side applied. Switch up the die with the Crouch Fierce. 
jab, a little overhead, pepper that one in, and then dude lets the drive rush rock for a very long time. And after the long road ahead, crouching medium, the destination always in front of you. Overhead, no shine. Playing it right back to him. Explosion doesn't land, no follow up, unfortunate. Would have been sick if it did. Elbow drop, call it out. It's a medium kick too far off rip. Again, you see the ideation here from Shine. Elbow drop, call it that crouch fierce. Get a punish counter, get that slide, and get him up in the corner. Okay, good tech. Both the <laughs> chat. I'm minimizing chat. I can't look at y'all. This is <laughs> chill before it hurts. It literally is painful. <laughs> it's too much, y'all. Please chill. <laughs> or keep going, I don't care. Keep going. That's great, I love it. <laughs> oh my god. So I try to build that level three, you know, again, to get that lead in terms of health, but also deal with the damage, get that speed boost, charge up, shine as a falter fall, walk up mm. throw though, two preemptive parries. So that's mm. crouching medium punch, yeah, that's last button. Nobody got me, crouching medium punch got me. Definitely the right call here. Go for the burnout, get a lot of your own gauge back, set yourself up for potential success here. Going steady as we just go for the sandblast and then straight into the stun. I love that little mix there. Super unexpected after the fireball. Set yourself up pretty well. Joe. One game up. I'm falling, faulting for like the trickiness. This game with the overhead and the throw, but in terms of his overall, nice interruption. See, things like that are getting caught. And look at the exchange. Joe gets so much more off. It's a lot of Oki. Not like Kim don't get Oki. But Joe gets so much more damage off. He's not faltering to like things that will land like punish counter into like corner carry. Not just yet. Now here we go. Shine. Pulls up with the teleport off. Mm, okay. Give you to break out. Joe so with these little steps forward, just buying a lot of this real estate back for relatively low commitment here. And, and is able to get the anti there with the force knockdown and the overhead to boot. Good follow up from Joe. The damage off that too as well. It's an opener. Oh, fantastic. Seems to seal the deal. He's got the part of the so teleport jump fly kick. Gets the back throw. Target combo. Oh, so I go for the drive impact. He was already out of there weeks ago. They came to the premises. Teleport oh in the jump heavy. Before Joe can get the bar back, he's gonna be level two. That's footsies, right? That counts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice teleport. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what, I, I I like that because like, we've seen it being wow. counteracted with the Crouch Fears. And he's not taking it off the table, he's just putting it in differently. You, know? you can't take up all your tools off the table, you just have to split them in a little bit differently for getting counteracted to continuously. Joe, dumping out the damage, and now getting the grip right after it with the throw, the chaser, the throw. The infinite. Yeah, press it button, watch what Ends of finding the overhead, there you go. Joe evens up the rounds. That's going to go up 2 0, oh, but there we go. Is able to change that jump angle at the right. Perfect spacing, but it doesn't matter. ODDP and use the follow up to avoid the can. So smart. That's so good. Had the bar to be able to use it. It takes quite a bit. But Joe had the resources. Now he's in burnout. This goes up level three at the bottom. The charge up. Trying to catch Sean Lackett. He is not slacking. The anti with the crouch fears. He sets the pressure, Crouch Fierce again on these jump base. He hasn't even went for a DP yet. It's been Crouch Fierce for damn days. Jump again. Oh my god. Can't even jump in at all. Dude, he's getting a lot of mileage out of heavy knuckle just in neutral. Please, yeah, go. spin at level CA. I mean, I almost said level 3, but CA, extra damage. But again, most important thing is that speed and power increase for this character, 11%. Star Viper, Stan Fierce, puts him in burnout. Text the first parry. <gasps> Too early, though. Hits him on the, in the air. Goes for the overhead. And that's going to be enough to kill. Assuming we can confirm, not enough. Oh, the double oh. KO. Show. Will he get a game? That means he gets a game, right? Wait, wait, wait. I don't know the rules for this one. I go on a piece, I do believe. Right? So they both get a game. I don't know the rules for this Holy one. It hasn't happened moly. in months. One a piece. One a piece, I do believe. I believe it's one a piece. I think that the only time that this is not one a piece is if it is to win a set. And I think if it's to win a set, it is replayed. 
because you can't tie a bracket. I believe that's the CPT rules. Yeah. So I'd assume it'd be the same out here. So I'm assuming we're getting the double checking with Duelist, the head TO, obviously, but I'm assuming that this is two to one in favor of Joe right now. Right. Damn. It's going to be so unfortunate. You got the double KO. For Joe, that's great. For Sean, it's like, I got one, but at what cost? You know, he went up another one. Not very beneficial. Oh, uh, the match will not be scored. Is that what it looks like it's going to be? I'm just, let me see. I believe the CPT rules are... It's a rematch is what Duelist is saying. So I think oh. that they're playing it 1-0 Joe now. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't seen a double KO in a long time. Maybe my information is on the star chat. I'm missing four. Either player gets a point, general. I could have sworn. You know what? I'll deal with it later. Punish, counter, throw. <laughs> I got to get ready for this week because I... I Mm. Interruption. I like that he's in the super to charge that up. Oh, they replay. Oh, my mistake. Impact again. It's a splat. Jump fierce. That's the starter. This should be enough to close it up using the super. Right, level one. Make him up. We play this game. And Joe. Round still dominant. But that wastes five. Oh, I'm up. That's a big mistake on my side. Maybe I'm thinking of Lee. Anyway, I'll have to work that out on later. <laughs> it's okay. Our mind's eye must continue. Tonight is a vortex of a mystery, so it's... <laughs> I've learned a lot about myself and Street Fighter today, <laughs> Cole. <laughs> I have to. It's the journey we made along the way with the friends that we've made. Wait, I messed that up. See, I can't even talk right now. It's the simulation. Journey. No, it's the friends. We're in a simulation. Right now, I'm about to simulate these fists to face. That's super. Let's see that sound cloud. The judge okay. the is the Elbow drop, counter hit, the fault right after it. Oh, Lord. All right. Just do it again, to be honest. I'm down. I'm down for a double day. Double, double, double KO for the one time. Just trap me yeah, in this just, set. For, just groundhog day me in this set, bro. On Valentine's Day? Just yeah. like that? Yeah. Sorry, honey, I'm not coming home. They're not done. We're not finished fighting. That setback is huge. Good amount of damage to come out. Gonna try and set up for the stun potentially here. No, just gonna be able to find the throw instead. And just Honestly, like I'm that. gonna get my game, bro. I'm gonna get my game, bro. Kimberly, win. Dude, so there you go. One to one. Antares right there, he's able to pick up right there off the counter hit. Beautiful stuff from Joe. That follow up. You backdash my throw, I'm gonna do it again. Like the idea, cards me punch twice in a row a little too far. Still fine though. That's unblockable, I'm convinced. It's every single time that runs up. Joe, I wonder if we're gonna see like an ODDP against that run. We saw that when Noah was playing. We'll see if that might be an option here beside of Joe. Time to OD. Right, stand fierce, Joe, stay solid. There's all the bar to get the finish, the pick up. Oh, level one could have been right with the walk up throw. Could he have level one yet? In that sequence? Yeah, I'm not bugging. My mind is like spiraling after what happened previously. Okay. Sends it just a little bit, finds a card's medium. These standing resets are just disgusting right now. Really kind of pushing your defense to the edge here. But Joe says no more defense, bro. I paid for this game to fight. DP. In the corner. Back dash, the boys are throwing. It's a punish counter to as well. Even level three after that slide. Yes, sir. Going to kill, but it will put him on death door. Barely breathing. Star Viper. Significant amount of damage. Teleport, mix up, oh God. Now it's working out when it's right in front. It's one hit away, or one sequence away at least. Okay. Now it finds another throw. Check over in the corner, trying to set up with the fireball here. It doesn't get much for it as we go for the run and don't go for any kind of follow-up. No attempt to overextend too far. 
Yeah, Fierce Drive Rush for the mm. corner. Again, Kim, Kim not having like the best defense. So you have to go for that innate stuff. The perfect parry is there. Back throw off the target combo. It's a side switch. Level three is what's gonna be. Close that victory. Not in the yellow just yet. It's a grip. Shine wakes up with a jab, just breaks straight out of there, back throw. Fortunately, it returns to neutral here, and Joe more than capable, more than comfortable in this opportunity. Slide, explosion. It's a punish counter. That parry, it's unfortunate. But the recovery looks like the drive impact right back. Shine dies for it. Joe up two games. Officially up two games. See, this is where double KO would have ended this. Yeah, exactly. It would have been over. <laughs> Switch the rule set, bro. It's crazy that I I feel so bad. I'm like, but I, I thought I remembered a double KO like years ago, but I guess. Oh. Run up throw. Drive rush fake out. Caught with the crouching medium punch. Get that out of here. Oh. Okay, burns himself out, but it's well worth it here. Keep the pressure up. Goes the target combo. Too far for the throw. It's a great back dash. Burn up. Let's go for the overhead. Jumps out, but now for the corner. It's a level one to get some space over this place. They get a nice little lead to slide. Right back in. Look how aggressive he is. Drive impact, but he recovers in time to stay fine. The back this check my wrist. Joe wants that point. Two rounds in a row. That shine has just tried to go for it, and Joe's just been a little too ready. Saying medium kick gets the overhead. Full extension. Good pressure from his character. Jab, jab, throw. Go for the plus on the stand. Heavy kick to the ODDP is there to stop that. Okay, let's see if the install is enough to beat this work. He is going to put him in a burnout too, so there's a big opportunity for Shine to be able to snowball this out of control. Two and a half bars and gets the trade. It's not enough to get too much else. The crouch fears the punish. Joe. Looking, hunting for a nice CA play, right? You get that bar back, especially, but again, the teleport, like it lands again. As soon as he sees that he's pensive, he's like, or maybe I won't die for this. But this teleport, it won't miss. Oh, nice luck the star, but it doesn't matter, DP. Check the throw. What's up, the maybe fireball drive for Stan Fierce. We're in. Once again, that corner position, not where you want to be. If you're Kimberly, but again, innate defense here from Shine. Perfect parry, back dash to avoid the throw has been fantastic. Look at this, already taking an east to west. Put this man to rest, bro. Stun down with the can to land. Crouching meter kick gets a counter hit. Joe with the bust out, but him burn out. Uh-oh. You can see him buffering. He's thinking about Tennessee, brother. Oh, no, but he charges the knuckle too much. The light knuckle does not work out two to two. Unfortunate. The overhead drops him down. Try to get a little bit more active, but it doesn't matter. Crouching medium punch again. The great equalizer as a starter. Chaser, the throw right after. You're worried about like neutral jump fears. But the throw. And look at this. Joe not even going for crouch fierce anymore. He's like, I'll just wait for you to land. Yeah, that big step forward in the standing heavy punch. Definitely a good idea in that one. But again, like we said before, you gotta be careful about how much you whiff. But there's the stun. Up, drive impact. He holds the parry. He was where he knew that was coming through. A lot of drive impact from the side of Shine. Joe stays a okay. Takes a throw after the run cancel. Oh, burn up the overhead reset. He's not dead. He's not dead for the throw. We'll finish the job, Joe, on set point. Round two. Oh, I went for a crouch. Maybe it was buffering the DP there. That super level three once again. 
Not a bad situation. You're up in the corner where she loves to work with overhead and heavy kicks. It's all the mix of medium kicks too as well. She's got the buff up in damage and speed. I stop believing this character needs buff. Perfect parry. Oh no, I had to go for the reset. Actually, back on his feet. All of a sudden, Joe, the opportunity is there. Plus frames, goes for the crouching medium. Nice, check with the jab, shine, fearless. Final game, final round. Let's see what's going down, people. Down to the limit, Joe's got a lot of more to work with. She has the buff, crouching medium punch, blessing this character. Light, knuckle heavy, knuckle level three. You know about to be? Ground and pound, I'm making you eat your teeth. It's Joe Rogan, building that bar back up, shine. Barely any Barty was named, but his innate defense has been so fantastic for this corner. He's avoided throws. He's went for the perfect parries. Do it again to get the win. It's punishable. The bag of runs hella punishable. Oh my god, and the step back from Joe Umi Rogan. Perfect KO. Three to two after a double KO. Talked about the dot kicks being problematic against some of these buttons that like to utilize the crouching medium punch, crouching medium kick. You're not looking for like a whip punish. You're just committing where you think you're going to throw out a butt. You get so much reward on punish counter, but that can be counteracted by them walking back and crouch fear, stand medium punch. They can whip punish too as well with DP. So there's a lot of variance, but I like her entry points. Ooh, and just like that, just like you were mentioning, dive kick. And, and normally on block, whenever you're dive kicking, it's a general rule of thumb in most fighting games. You want to aim for as low to the feet as possible. You get better frame data the later you hit them with the dive kick. So optimal, optimal, just stepping on the shoes with that dive kick. Quick punch against the stand fears. No cross cut DP. Pops up the fireball though. We'll do Ooh, get the dive kick, gets the counter it. Spiral arrow right after it, the throw. Right, she gets okay. Out meters. Kind of insane, but she's so far to finish the job. And that will do playing like it's personal. He sees a loose, he sees red. I want to make him dead. What a oh devious God. in that. Hey, maybe he sees yellow, bro. Who knows? <laughs> Come through. There you go. Follow up with the knuckles. Close the distance. And that little step back. But Dew says, I'm taking the throw, baby. We're chilling. The follow up. Oh, this opportunity. And again, see, that's the problem. For her boxer or dive kick, kind of bad. So if you whip, go get hit. Dive kick again against the throw. Joe loves to his throws continuously, and why not? But once again, Shimmy with that super burnt out. Yeah, imminent. Oh my god. Wait! No! What? It only hits once. It spikes her to the floor. Dude gets to fight. Are you serious? I've never seen that before. What is wrong with the timeline today? Why is everything going wrong? This is a very <laughs> odd tournament, but do blessed by the gods themselves. Like, yo, bro, I think you deserve a little bit of love today. You went through the <laughs> worst. Sounds, they know, you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the gods came down and they didn't say that. They just said smile. They just said smile. Whip punch against the stand fierce. Yeah, Joe, you can't whip that against a button. We kept with these kind of buttons. Crouching medium kick, crouching medium punch. OD, DP, waited and baited, decimated. Knuckle do. The perfect KO. Step back, crouching medium. Didn't get much else. Still fine though. Look at the pressure. Look at the spacing that dude is throwing at. Look how aggressive he's being with the buttons. He's pressing. Joe does get the jump out though. That's huge. Throw, counter hit, up in the corner. But again, I like the harassment that he did previously against that drive gauge. Makes Joe have to rethink of how he approaches. Let's get the knockdown with the punish counter. Stand medium, walks in with the throw. Bar is coming back here for Joe. He jumps out, no dive kick this time. It would work fine. He's gonna pay for his life. There's probably gonna be a level three, I would assume, here from Joe. You gotta seal the deal and bring it back. And stem off that momentum. up the rounds at least the dude's been able to get momentum though things have just gotten messy just completely out of hand so quick jump over it ends up on the same side are you serious get heavy kick harassing again this time joe's more proactive i like that lose too much gauge you can't drive like you'd like to get conversions and joe don't like to play in as much as other loot players especially like dude or i'm sorry uh, noah jump in again the jump fierce blessing that back medium punch okay once again 
again. Back kick, good spacing. Crouch, medium punch, huge step back. Gonna be able to spend the level two potentially. Don't no! no. Would have dropped into the light knuckle combo. The follow up. Uh -oh. Oh. You gotta be careful doing heavy knuckle. He has level three. The trade. Gets the crouching beat with kick drive for us. That's gonna be it. Knuckle Tuesday and Optimal. Do that level one to get it done. Even in the face of victory, Everybody once again, staying as optimal as possible to send out that super and not to the bar. But more importantly, the gods of gaming have graced him with smiles. It'll be all right. Oh my god, we're adapting to the spacing on the dive kicks, though. That's a great crouching medium punch. Dive kicks against the crouch pierce again. Her mix ups are like, or her jump ins are like mix ups. You're worried about like the blow, the heavy kick. Now the bust out here from Knuckle Dew. A lot of pressure put on Joe. Everywhere in the neutral, it looks like it's difficult for him to deal with anything for this character, even though Dew lacks in health. Okay, follow up with the target combo, distance closed. I kick really well spaced and is able to get the cross up as well. Knock down the hit. All of a sudden, Joe kind of in danger here. One bar already built up, it's good tech. Whip punish. And he says, stay fierce. You can't throw out that button like you'd like to. Wakes up with a counter hit. What if you could have spent a little bit more bar at the bottom, but it maybe would have killed. Anyway, Joe staves off, set point. Side swap, gets back heavy punch. Chaser with the throw. He didn't burn out his Joe, but again, far at the bottom may not matter. Back fist, trying to find an opening. Oh, clips the crouching medium punch again. You're not even looking for like a whip, just like if you press a button, if I think you're gonna press a button, I got this dive kick ready and steady to unleash. Oh, the super <laughs> force is gonna run that. Driving back, not gonna be able to get there, still fine. On the tank, too. Or if he wants beast mode. <gasps> Drive us overhead! <laughs> what? And no interaction, no interruption. Knuckle do. This lets it happen. I'm sorry, Joe. I need to win. I need. I need max winner. I need a do win, bro. A I'm, low I'm key. Sorry. I need a high. No, I super you, high key. I need a do win, bro. <laughs> oh, Lord. The people on the YouTube are going to be so confused. <laughs> this night. Gonna come through and watch us live, baby. To get all the good good. But nothing to do. I might get dusted as Joe is trying to alternate the timeline. Media crushing medium punch. Stand light. Kick the fire up ball. Super right after it for some distance. Joe puts up some bar. Getting aggressive. Drop gauge getting juiced up. That a little too far. Oh my god. Got the kids, make the pickup, the super to seal it. Knuckle do on set point. Going into an even meter as well. Definitely the right call. How far can you push this to do? What a punish counter. with the throw almost caught the shimmy he sets the pressure with the dry rush back throw waits for a little bit we've seen a lot of aggressive wake ups from the sudden knuckle do like ODB jabs and things like that Joe trying to play this nice and slow it's Valentine's Day for the OD come through to play dive kick hits he's got one too Okay, into bars, whiffing that overhead once again. Pretty decently far away, but Joe gets that crouching medium punch from dude. It's like massive. Life totals dwindling. Anything for either player. Wakes up with a super. He jumps up and kicks. It hits him. What? What is going on? Oh my god. I'm gonna get kicked out of my apartment complex today, bro. This is the day. I know. This is a nightmare right now. Some wild ass matches. Back throw against the parry. Preemptively gets a punch card. About to get the reset with the overhead. This time, Dew blocks it out. It's 
The die kick punish counter right after it. It's Oki. Oki again with the wake position. He blocks it out and blocks it by crouching light kick. Takes a lot of walk back. Oh, here we go, Joe. Come with level three? Not yet. He's gonna hold it, gonna try to save it for the kill here. Such as that level one as well for a reversal, depending on the situations that come up. Jump in clean, gets the counter hit. After it, the stand fears the overhead blocked out. You're in burnout. This is bad. Do I part the bomb to react to a drive impact? Rears back, but dude punishes with his own stand fears a sledgehammer, breaking through back to grand finals to fight. But here we are, grand finals. Mr. Guile, the world warrior, <laughs> face off against little old Lucas on the left. My boy Luke, Mr. Sullivan. We do again and lose your side. You gotta win twice to make it nice. No one only needs to win one set. One to get it done. Let's see if we get that reset. Actually, we need to start. Oh, yeah, you got the corner. I got the fireball DP ender. Frame kill. Chase down with the DP punish counter as well. Jump in again, bro. These are heavy kicks, jump pierces. No matter if you have the tools to anti air, it's still so nasty if they're not talking about it. And that was supposed to be a boom as well, for sure. Again, forward heavy punch is never what you're looking for there. Drive rush. Rush immunity kick. That's supposed to be a flash kick. And he jumped back. Very rare errors for the side of Knuckle Dude leading to the corner. Oh, that was actually a nice OD Samblast there. Oh my god, and very nice again. Recognizing the opponent was gonna kind of rec uh, be ready for the boom. The parry is the pretty much like the, the guaranteed correct play in that spot. But Noah still manages to brawl out of it, finds the hit. For an opening, there's no way like to go for that level three. There it is against the fireball. He about to fall. Ground and pound. They can beat his own teeth. Noah for the first victory, and again, only needs one single set to take this over dude again <laughs> dude, dude shut up please please bro, get focus, up. focus up bro <laughs> i'm trying this is your capcom cup bro you need to focus this ain't my capcom cup this is knuckle dude's way he's trying to play bro he said i'm getting prepped and prepared for capcom cup i'm trying to play every match like it's that noah trying to shake and rattle this man's brain before the main event even happens Air throw. <laughs> okay. That's nasty. Nice. And now the flash kick right after. This is like the worst spacing to play at, especially when you're in burnout here. Kind of able to do whatever he wants at that spot. Has to go for the jump back. Ends up getting stunned because of it. This man sees stars like Ali Boulevard. Oh, that heavy kick. No follow up. That had to have been a prop. It's even like a hoodie flash or a flash kick, right? I feel like these drops are characteristic of Knuckle Dewey, so that's a quarter position. Now listen, the overhead hit, one more hit, the OD flash kick. Round two. Fight. Okay, a couple fairies, OD sandblast though, wins the day in that situation. Close the distance, overhead block, but it doesn't matter. Follow up, still dealt with. Pressing should. We're pressing against that crouching medium kick. No cross to DP this time. Walks it out, but he leaves for now. Perfect carry. Punish. Corner carry. Closer, closer. OD flash kick before we even get to the corner. That trade is painful every time. Oh, God, it hurts. Level two. Try to go for the burnout here, potentially. He's got that level one to cut through the level twos. The baby boomers. See him juking, looking for an opening again. On this counter, less than a lot of baby boomers. Yeah, get as much damage out of it as you can. Level three runs through again, dude, because it's a CA. I think you're dead. Oh, yeah, you're dead. Bruh. E -e -e -e. Hit the running man on my man. As soon as he saw that Sonic Boom blade come through, that's how it lands. Continuously, we've seen that as an option for Noah. He'll use that bar at the bottom. We talked about that utility. Even that level three is an anti fireball tool. The drive rush medium, punish, level one. I like that good timing there. 
imagine the distance going he's gonna be able to get the jump couple of booms in a row gotta be careful for the od uh the od sand blast obviously it's been a really good answer but noah just gonna blast through and burn up looking out of the right. level one to fight back it's sonic boom pressure if you'd like to uh, boom buffet that's who at least use the corner see if he uses od to get in now he uses blade to start be, you know what? Maybe that level three was a big win for Sun and Haku. There's level one on the side of note, but like not having to worry about level three in terms of damage dealing could definitely help out in terms of staying solid. Okay, you don't have this big damaging output. You do have level one to cut through the Sonic Booms, but I ain't got to worry about getting killed for throwing up Sonic Boom. Definitely makes throwing booms significantly more comfortable here as we get across the here. And there we go. OD Boom to break through, evens it up one to one. I wonder if he could have had enough charge to go for level one on that back heavy kick. Maybe. I'm not sure. Michael Dew putting a game on the board. I like going for the long I have a good feeling about this. Uh-oh. Off the back dash. Punch and punch won't miss. And Michael follow up. Stan Pierce Meaty with the fireball. Walks in for the throw. Calls out the parry. They not punish. Oh, you know what? Can't minus one in burning. Yeah, that heavy kick. Drive reversal way too far. Oh, because the punish Ooh. counter. Nice confirm. Takes the step back. Is able to get the same situations before. Has level two built up, but doesn't even need to spend a single bar because the spacing right. ends up perfect. Knuckle do again. This one's personal, bro. Is back with the crouching medium kick. Nothing really after it. OD Sonic for the knockdown. Now Knuckle Dude using a little more juice out of his tank. Check these knockdowns. But Noah W on all his bar. That corner carry. We talked about it. In burnout don't matter. You might make your brain splatter up in this corner. This is what I'm really predicated on putting pressure up in the corner. Back heavy punch from Dude. Flash kick level three. Get the bar back and hope his from coming back. Okay, and I think it's another situation like before. I think dude's just gonna kind of play normal if Noah ends up spending level three, but no, instead things get a little more messy. This is a much better spending of the level three here because Noah knocked down, gonna be out of burnout. This is a huge situation. Take that step forward. What can you get? Oh, he calls out the parry. Yep. Bro. Game to game round around right now. Noah takes, he has a huge lead. Not dude still has to reset the bracket. Long held time for him to get that win. Turn that jump in too far out. So focus on the ground, like you don't even want to go for an entire you just want to like hold barrier, block it out. OD for the knockdown, Noah again. Whatever it takes to keep him caught up in the corner as much as possible. You can go out and have the bar at the bottom to fight back with, but not do spot out. Fantastic. He's fine. Absolutely crouch pierce every day of the week in that situation. Gets the suplex. This is closed. Bonks him on the head with the overhead. Heavy kick, no anti from the side of no one ODP. Attack the throw does not connect. Mm. Do backs off with the easy anti with the stand medium kick. Here's the back throw though. No can switch up that position. Go up that level two. I like this. Yep, started the throw. Really, really smart from Noah to recognize that situation, but it doesn't matter. The step back in the level two is on. Dude gets the second game on the board. Going into game four, threatening potential reset. That's what I wanted right here. More games. That's what y'all wanted. More games. More drama. More action. You know, the project starting off strong. Walk up row though, right after these buttons. But it's now brought back with the buffet of boots. Yeah, as soon as he tries to go for like parry, he's trying to initiate with like drive rush overhead. Like, okay, you want to stay standard right there? I got a way to come through. Okay. Good way to follow up. Big step back. Standing light, but it's not going to matter. Upside down kick, the extra damage to the drive gauge. Medium kick takes the turn back. Of course, they'll punish against that crouching medium kick. Air throw drops him right into the corner. Down to the ground, send heavy kick. Drop back. Stu's game to win. And if you OD's, that's all he needs. The fireball game is more dangerous here for Noah. Yeah, 
Corbin takes a pot, though, to seal the deal. Knuckle do about to reset the bracket. Oh my god, the reset, dude. No way. You could not paint a better story, bro. You could not paint a better story. Okay, he knocked down. Oh yeah. my god, the cross is good. Level three is about to be built up here. Noah, gotta be careful. Player on that intention too as well. He can't throw out a sonic boom. Now Air finds the jump fears. Lands on his head. The DP whips. Oh yeah, nothing to definitely will get it after this. Flash kick, level three. Gone with that big victory. And more importantly, Knuckle do be able to reset the bracket and give us more action. Give me some smiles up in the chat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Oh, Big reset man. from your boy, Do. Oh my god. <laughs> we got more games, people. We got more action. We got more Do versus Noah. Oh my god. The reset is powerful. Put ourselves in the spot for the final set of the tournament. It's been a ride, but unfortunately, all good things must end. Three out of five to set us straight. Because god damn it, we need to be set straight <laughs> on this beautiful Wednesday night. I guess, man. <laughs> I... <laughs> we going out with a bang today. Knuckle do after pretty dominant up three games. Kind of coasted right there. No strategy is starting to fall a little bit in terms of the big game. Three, there's a fireball. Burnout's also been bad against like one of these barons of burnouts that is Guile. You have to be even more careful doing that strategy. And Knuckle Dude also has been fantastic with these fantastic leaders. And very up the Sonic Boom approach with Blade, fast, heavy Sonic Boom, light Sonic Boom, things like that. Boom, close to the distance. Noah was doing pretty decently well in the fireball game, but unfortunately it's ended up burnt out. Drive impact almost finds the mark. Imagine if it did. Sides with strike thing, flash kick, ready, sit loose late. That cross up. I love that. That looked like a throw all day. That's such a yeah. standard setup for throw. I love that. That was so cool, bro. I think that was really cool. Big jumper to get the win. This character's kind of nasty. Jumping straight to the uh, to the flash kick as well. You like the idea? I will say for Noah, Noah's uh, like Noah's ability to deal with fireballs is pretty decent. I think he's got a pretty pretty decent fireball game to be honest. We were talking about it earlier how it's hard to develop, but his like sense for throwing ex sound uh, for like od sand blast is really really good actually. Hey, it's like almost 100% hit rate. That's a utility. You get that knockdown to put in the corner as much as possible. That's what he's looking for. Based on the drive reversal, isn't able to get a punch at that distance, but able to chip away. Look at the life. Parade of baby blooms. <laughs> Jesus, bro. <laughs> that just goes. Get that blocker, blocker. My God, dude. Hold on now. Do say, hey, I'm from the streets, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Please leave this in. Oh my God. Be truthful. <laughs> Did he Be win? Be truthful. <laughs> Be truthful. Do. Noah, please. I'm trying to practice for Capcom. I really am. But also, fuck it. I, this is actually godlike. <laughs> Be truthful. It's a crazy, crazy thing. Hey, man. Be truthful. <laughs> On oh God, on oh God, no cap. You know what I'm saying? On oh God, no cap. <laughs> My bad, OG. <laughs> I, I don't know you chill like that. <laughs> a speed test every round. Oh my God. Oh Lord. Those faces do not depict what happened in that chat, bro. I'll no, tell you that. No, they do. Not at all. No, they don't. <laughs> Starting off with the silver bot. Try to look a little bit here and there. Jump over the fireball. <laughs> Be truthful is iconic. <laughs> Be truthful is truthful. genuinely iconic. <laughs> oh my god. Be so for real. I love it. Oh lord. Upside down kick gets the hit. Not gonna do one burnout, but has the lead and held. No one trying to open him up. He does something. Crouching medium kick. Light knuckle. Happy knuckle. 
Back oh, yeah. breath throw. And that lurching jab is so yep. good against throw baits, right? It really is. Keeps clean, gets away from the drive impact. It was the only possible option you had to get away. Nice DP. The back dash. No uh dies to not lose decision to avoid that throw. Finds a punish counter against that. You know, people say that throw loops are dangerous, but you do have the ability to go for like a back dash for most characters. The final punch is for easy rest. So there is a little bit of risk in terms of finding the rule. Oh yep. Crash medium punch just to see if you're close enough for the confirm, but Noah, listen man, it's not about distances, bro. We can make it work. Anything happens, no matter what happens. All it takes is a little bit of love. Oh, the Sonic Boom. No love right now for Boomies 2. I ain't gonna lie to you. Crouching Muta trying to find an opening. Anti with the stand medium kick. The beautiful choice for Sonic Boom. Dropping down. Sonic Boom pressure with the buttons. Bit of a fan booms and buttons now. Sonic Boom. Ooh, had time for the parry that time. Goes gonna go for the level two. It's not gonna combo, but still gets that pressure. Gets him in the burnout. That is huge. Full screen now. For that super, he'd love to get one. But I know that Knuckle Dude understands that game plan. He's been hit with it too many times. I lied the reactions on this young man. It don't matter what the net say. I came to play with that level three. That's CA. That's a grip, but that's not it. Reduce the last bar. Not anymore. No more drive gauge. No more health. Oh my what? God. <laughs> Just decked him. <laughs> I thought it was over. I thought it was done. But it's only one more away from Knuckle Dew to avoid the hell that he is in right now. Plus one. Yeah, uh -oh, that's yeah. that's tough. That was a great jump I go from Noah. You gotta like walk for a little bit and then get the flash kick. That's what we saw a couple weeks ago from him. Uh jump back jab is not terrible there either. It's just it's a little risky. Yeah. That heavy kick level one to get it done. Knuckle do. Set tournament point. This could be it, dude. This could be a good omen for Dude going into Capcom Cup potentially. Flash kick had the charge right after it to the drive rush. Had it stored within the green slime. How much overhead? Oh brother. Trade him through, chills after trade, standing heavy punch. Gets aggressive, driving back, you can't jump scare him. So young for that, got the reaction still. Side switch, do with the flash kick. Caught the neutral jump, hit the bar at the bottom too as well. Looking for that activation, not that same heavy kick situation. Oh, you're gonna hit with that CA play. Mm. Okay, he said, making craters. Dude does have bar at the bottom. He's looking for an opening. Don't give him any. Send heavy kick uh -oh. now to level two. Can burn this man out. Drive reversal doesn't matter. Be truthful. Did you think I was going to lose? Says Dude as he takes down Noah the Prodigy from the loser side in the most, it felt personal fashion. Yo, good stuff to Knuckle Dude. It was a fantastic fight.